All right, that was, uh, his, his, what's his last name, Jesus? Diaz, was it? Uh, I think, uh, yeah, Jesus Diaz, the senior editor at Gizmodo. And, hey, look, you didn't trash, the, we, we're talking about the new iPhone. Rich Voss just got here. Um, and uh, there's certain issues with the antenna, but I didn't think he was attacking the whole fucking phone. He just said the yeah, antenna is shitty. My iPhone last night completely went out for like about my 30 seconds. And I was talking to a conspiracy theor theorist. And, uh, <laughs> is this true? Yeah, last night it completely went. Would you have a new iPhone or what, how old no, your iPhone? No, 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 no. It's like six months old. What, you okay. know, whatever the, the, the iPhone before that iPhone. 3GS. Yeah. Uh, what? Yeah, that could be it, the 3GS. And I went to turn it on like that, and it just was dark. Right. Then I did press a couple buttons, and he thinks that uh, iPhone is sending out types of signals to screw up these phones so everybody goes out and buys a new one. <laughs> and that's what uh, the person said last night. Do you understand the magnitude of that scandal <laughs> if that got out? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. I, well, I didn't say it. He's a quite quite a big uh, Especially person. since they're still selling 8 gig 3GS phones. Yeah, whoever he is. Yeah. I don't know who he is. He's a boob. <laughs> I don't care if I know him. I don't care if he's a friend. Uh, th if it Apple... was your dad. Oh, exactly. No, no. He no, <laughs> knows nothing about the iPhone. No, it was somebody. But I'm saying, but uh, it, yeah. if they did that, if, if all right, let me just go with this for a second. Yeah. Let's just say that Steve Jobs and Apple is sending out yeah. magic signals. Not magic. They can send out a signal to screw up your phone if they wanted to. No, they can't. <laughs> yeah, they can. <laughs> like what? To block, screw up what your what you phone mean? signal. Well, yeah, they they up, already huh? did send out a signal. It's called the AT and T service <laughs> yeah. to screw up your phone. <laughs> but if they did that and got caught. Somebody would talk. Listen, yeah. they all want the new phone bought, so they're sending out a signal which is fucking up the other phones. If every person with a 3GS realized my phone doesn't work as well as it used to. The class action lawsuit from that would <laughs> oh, wipe them. Oh, Jesus. Thank you. you. That, that's what happens. When I object, I cut a sour milk fart. <laughs> fucking live with it. Jesus don't act like you don't Christ. know that. Don't look at any of your acting fucking. Go ahead. What was that? Nothing. My, oh, Jesus. My acting is actually pretty good. I know. That's what I heard. You didn't hear that. That's what I heard. The video chat on this is fucking phenomenal. We're not is gonna that the new one? Oh, Rich, come on, please. Of course it is. Why would I talk to Jesus Diaz from Gizmodo if I didn't have the new one? Hey, Sam, call me on my thing and we'll do a little... There's a fucking video chat. I'm not chat. on the Wi-Fi here. I need oh, the Wi-Fi password. Queer. I know. Um, yeah, neither am I. I'm on 3G. Um, so you like the iPhone or you hate it, Rich? I, it's not bad. I, I, You know, it's all right. I like it. You know, I don't do a lot on it, but... I, you know what I like about it? One of the things is, on the plane the other day, I watched a great movie that I downloaded onto here, and it was just, it was great. Do you watch a movie on your phone? I just, exactly, that's just what I said, that uh, on the plane the other day, I watched a movie on my phone that I downloaded. Oh, I can't do that. It's too fucking... What? I have no desire to watch a movie on my phone. Well, it's not, you know, it's it's... A year old movie, so it's not something you have to see. It's not Avatar where you have to see it in fucking 3D, you dummy. It was a good movie, and on the plane, it, listen, the screen isn't that much smaller than the one on the plane. That's true, but I don't yeah. like the fact that you're saying I don't. This is I don't like the fact that Rich is saying it's like well, it's not Avatar where you need graphics to size. There's a big difference between <laughs> a laptop screen and the fucking iPhone screen, which is like listen, three inches. On the goddamn phone, it's a cock's a cock. Okay, it doesn't <laughs> matter if it's on. A, you, it's it's all in the fantasy anyhow. Uh, uh, it was a good movie. It was the, one of the only movies I liked with Robin Williams. Uh, what was it called? The Good Dad or something. Or... Oh, I wanted to see that. Yeah, it's I heard that. Movie. Don't tell you. I heard that was actually pretty depressing. But look at the camera on this. You can fucking see. see. Like, 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 I'm going to take a picture of Sam. But okay. then I'm like, you know what? I want to send Sam a picture of my cock so I could turn it around and now Whoa. it's facing me. Oh. Boss, you, you've never seen anybody. <laughs> just confused. The way Rich is looking at the phone right now. If, if, I, if I showed a sea turtle the phone, it would have the same look on its face of disbelief and shock. Yes, yeah, it's, it's like a black person looking at a job application. Oh, Rich. Oh, I, love, I, I do love Rich, though, because Was Rich's racism racist? comes out of... No, Rich is not a racist. You know I'm not a racist. I'm teasing you, dude. Uh, how's your fucking thing coming with Bonnie, man? How's your movie coming? This fucking thing is... I went over to the editor the other day, and what, they're making the rough cut, and I watched, like, the first, uh, I, I don't know, like, ten minutes or whatever... It's so... F Artie Lang is fucking funny. Yeah. It's so fun. It's... I, you know, this thing, every time I see it, I don't mind pouring more fucking money into right, this right, thing. Right, right, right. You know? Uh, it's just... It's funny. Joe DeRosa, I've never... when He is hilarious, and he really prepared. It was just... It was... It, it's... If this thing doesn't turn everything around, including my marriage... 
Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Jesus, I, I can't wait till this is done. I so, what's the name of it? Women Aren't Funny. Women Aren't Funny. That's great. That's fun. And, and you got, you didn't get, I'm surprised Chelsea Handler didn't do it. Uh, she's, she's fucking, she's oh, great. Yeah. I, mean, I love I think, Chelsea Handler. Yeah. Uh, she passed on us on the show, which I never even tried to ask for. You know, right, right. when I was with, not even, my ex-manager, we were in L.A. one uh, weekend, or one week, and uh, Jason says to her producer, hey, go see Voss and Bonnie at the Improv. And we didn't even know it was coming, and we crushed. And he liked it. He loves us, actually. He keeps pushing for us. But I think I might have, tr I don't know, I was at a party, and I might have trashed her oh, or you know what? around with her. What? Your, jer your jersey, she's jersey. She's a fucking just a jersey yeah. chick. That's why she's got that shitty, horrible yeah. attitude, which is <laughs> what makes her so funny, is the fact that she really is but just no, a cranky jersey yeah, girl. But nobody on her show, it's like when we did Colin's show, if we didn't like what Colin said, we just shut up, you stupid ass. She doesn't go for that on her show. What's well, different? You know, it's a, it's a different vibe. But and she, that could be it, too. She could know I'm like a tough crowd guy. You know, I mean, you. I'm so saying, am I. She has me on. Yeah, but you're different. You're different. You're, you're an easy. You know, I mean, you know how. Let me translate for it. Hold on. Let me translate. Let me translate to anybody out there what this fucking psycho is saying. He's saying that, like, with me, she knows it can be handled. But if the tiger comes on, there's <laughs> no, going to be a problem. Is, you <laughs> know how to sell you. out quicker than I do. <laughs> I, there, there, no. is, there is no selling out quicker than you. <laughs> <laughs> if they said right now we need a tap dancing Negro, you'd show up in blackface. <laughs> lordy, lordy, I'm here. I don't know. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But And she's not in the movie. No big deal. We have people. You probably trashed her on the way up. You probably did a gig with her fucking 12 well, years no, ago and don't we remember. Went, and you were like, we get at, me coffee. No, she's we like, at, fuck this piece of shit with When we were teeth. at Caroline's, when we, <laughs> when we were at, on tour at Caroline's, when me, Dave, and Corey were on tour after last comic, I mean, we sold out, we were selling out Caroline's. She, she came in to do a guest spot. I think Dave and Corey were mean to her going, who the fuck is she? And I wasn't because I thought she was hot. You know, yeah. so I said, yeah, I got no problem with you going on. But I, it was either them being mean to her or when we were at a party at uh, Ross, you know, uh, Ross's house in L.A. We we're out, out back and I, I don't know what the fuck she, I think she said I like to drink when I go on stage. I go, so does the audience or who knows. You know how we are. How you are. Say you. Don't rope. Rich wants to rope everybody. That's like the fucking thinking of a Nazi. Like what? when he's talking to the tribunals. Well, you know what was going on. We were all doing. It. It's like no, you were. Makes himself feel like a good guy. Exactly. Like, all... we, we all do that. We all just attack younger comics. No. And he, and here's the thing. You're in L.A. so much more than I am, so that show's great for you. And that show right now, on, on the road, the comics that are doing... Massive. Her, the comics that are doing her show are, are like the hottest comics right I now. I haven't done show. that in a long time, though, because I go out and do Leno, yeah. and they fucking give me like three days' notice. Well, but you, Oh, so you <laughs> so can't I, get her. She's yeah. booked, man. Like, it, they give me dates, but it's like, you got to book a few weeks in advance. She's not open. I just don't think the comics... I think... I look at Colin. Colin would use anybody. He didn't. He didn't feel intimidated, or he didn't feel like if somebody was funnier than him, it bothered him. It seems like on her show, she doesn't use a lot of comics that are. I mean, you know what I mean. Like, he's intimidated that, by you, you think? No, that she. She's That's, not that intimidated. Is what he yeah. This is the no, conversation no, he's had no, with himself no. in the mirror. She's no. not. What's that? I, I honestly not never... intimidated with me. Just comics that are. I've never got, I, honestly, Please. I've never gotten that vibe. Uh, maybe I'm wrong. Um, I don't know. I love the show. I think she's great. I'm not saying that because I don't give a fuck if I do it or not do it. But I think she's good at what she does. Uh, I saw Jeff Ross on there, and he would kind of smashed her, and he was mm -hmm. never on again. Maybe I'm reading it wrong. Maybe, maybe she hates me like a lot of people in this business. I agree. Like, I'm not to interrupt, Drish, but Rich does act like it's an anomaly that somebody doesn't like him. <laughs> You're what? mean to everyone. The, here's the miracle that some people do like you. <laughs> that's Bonnie that, told me that too. That's the amazing. <laughs> but this is what a fucking <laughs> sociopath boss is. He actually is like, oh, you know, maybe, uh, you know, like, like she's, you know, afraid of tough comp. Maybe you were just mean to her. And she's like, fuck that Jew. Why would I give him national exposure? She's the that's hottest right. comic in the country. Good. The hottest comic yeah, in the country. And I'm, I'm happy yeah. to see it. It's, I'm, I'm like, I'm happy to see a fucking uh, a Jersey act who's not polite to people. You know what I mean? Somebody who's not like a fucking phony, nice to people. And uh, she's a tough interview, man. Like when she interviews people, she's going to ask them shit that they yeah. don't want to talk about. Um, she's going to. I love. Hi. Um, which is chatting with Richard here. This fucking lunatic. 
really can't believe that certain people don't like him. He really thinks that he's just this scary force. <laughs> that he's, I didn't say he's, was he's beloved. That he's beloved. I didn't say I was he loved. No, listen, I'm a very kind-hearted guy. I will help the next guy out in a second. If the next guy okay. is, is, is lower well, than you and you can still feel better than you, him after course. you help him. Of course. Of course, I try to hold him down as long as I can. It's, I'm almost like a liberal. Uh, oh, fucking Voss slides in politics. Getting political. <laughs> why? Uh, yeah. Why do you think people don't like you? What's that? Why Be do you think people don't like you? Because I don't have fucking time for them. You know, with their little small talk and kiss, yeah. you know what the fuck? When uh, last night at the cellar, uh, you know, someone's there and they're all kissing his ass and all around him and everything. Who's there? Uh, what do you call it? The head of fucking NBC? Uh, no, uh, some whatever. It doesn't matter. Was he a business, a, a, a comedian, or a... yeah, a, a, yeah? What comic? I don't. It doesn't matter. No, he, he didn't you know. know. Uh, oh, uh, you know, and they're all kissing. You know, and and name uh, started with a J. Probably. Yeah, you know what I mean. You know how people are. Who's kissing? I, but I talk to him on the side. You know. All right, but I, yeah. So he you, you so he dissed you. And no, you no, decided. no, we were, no, we were talking about. <laughs> he was an ass. You could, you could say his name. It's like you're not insulting him. You're not bad mouthing him. Yeah, I guess people, certain people, don't like to know that they go hang out at certain places. Oh, you know, because they don't want fucking more groupies to come down there. <laughs> he's not. He's almost never there. Oh, really? No. He's talking about John Mayer. No, I was talking about Jesus. Uh, <laughs> John gets more pussy. <laughs> John doesn't hang out there every night. Occasionally, he stops in there once every two months when he's oh, around. Better in a loincloth too. <laughs> <laughs> he really does. I know Mayor's all cock. Is he? He has to be. He's fucking tall with long, giant guitar strumming hands. Uh, he's got to be all fucking gets meat. Hollywood chicks. Oh, uh, thank oh, everybody. Jesus. That guy. Yeah. He, he literally has run through Hollywood with his big guitar playing dick out <laughs> and fucked everything in Hollywood. Can you imagine that? I mean, yeah, the top ones. The top ones in Hollywood. He just showed up at some bar, like in uh, meatpacking or something, and just started playing. Just like, hey, I'm going to show up and play. You know he was sitting at home going, I got no pussy here. All my numbers aren't working. Let me just go out, strum my guitar, and I'll bring home some uh, chick from how, a bar. Well, how nice is that to well, know you can do that? It. You can just do that whenever was, you want. Must feel was, like being a girl. That's, that's <laughs> ironic. Him that strumming, strumming his guitar in the meat packing, and he was strumming in his car in the meat packing. I couldn't get it out. <laughs> you know wow! Yeah, wow. Basically, you meat know packing is your tongue in your mouth. <laughs> wow! There was, uh, off, off Here's the. the, off, the, off, the, the you can't see Voss's legs, but Voss knew. He was on shaky ground to begin with. <laughs> he was curling up in the fetal position. Oh, fuck. You know what's funny, too? I just got up what? like 15 Please, minutes ago. Something. No, I know. I just got up like, I'm serious, like 15 minutes ago. Yeah. And the thing about your scumbag listeners or people in general or when you call radio, because I got a dumb radio interview later. When you call, they expect you to be fun. Like yesterday I did a radio interview. I mm -hmm. swear to God I was up for maybe 12 minutes. I call. <laughs> And and they're, you know they it's expect okay. Expect a comic to be There's, funny. Yeah, it's Why? like Why? Wait, 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 idiots. Why, no, but here's, not only that, would you have a dentist do surgery on you that's been up for twelve minutes? You know, uh, Rich. I'm, I'm, you know, like, don't really look at your career <laughs> like a, a dentist or a. A what, doctor. I, what I'm saying, militia outfit. <laughs> what I'm, what I'm saying, it really is. Get, and, and it really is dressed for a good Jew what, beating, isn't it? What, what, I'm, what I'm saying, getting ready for the race wars. <laughs> Willing and able, you forgot. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, it's fucking comedy. You gotta, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. Well, I guess. But just watching you lose it on meatpacking. So John Mayer went in the fucking thing and just, yeah. they hung out. And he's a good uh, dude, man. He comes he's in. He's a real nice guy. He's the nicest guy when you talk to him. But he doesn't come in today. It's not like you were blowing his spot up because he's gone on stage there. And he was there mm -hmm. recently, I think, with his dad for his birthday. They said he was coming in. I wasn't on the oh, show, yeah. but they're like, I John's coming for the next he show. He filmed part of his music video there performing. Oh, right, on stage. he did. Yeah. He, I feel like, really? do, mm -hmm. do one thing or the other, goddammit. <laughs> you got, you know, know. leave so some ready. pussy for other people. <laughs> Was he going to go work at a deli, too, and <laughs> fuck those poor guys up? You play music, like you can't comic be funny. Music. No, you can't be. For the funny people. You're right. Or, or if you're funny, you can't really play music. <laughs> right. Except, you know, unless you're a guitar act. But he goes on. <laughs> he fucking goes on. And man, he is, uh, he was, he, I don't know if he does it anymore, but he was pretty fucking dirty and edgy. Really? He, it wasn't like a John Mayer type of act. It was like, it was like he was fucking doing racial material. I was like, really like, all right, at least he's not being a fucking pussy on stage at yeah. all. 
Yeah, he yeah. was ballsy on stage. Mm-hmm. The Post, I think, quoted him, and he was like, maybe I should be careful. He yeah. came in one with a mustache. It was hilarious. <laughs> Not to go on stage, but just because he really gets followed. Yeah, and He yeah. walked in with a fucking mustache. I was like, God, I would love to be this guy. He, yeah, he's got, like, legitimate groupies that just follow him around. Yeah, I know. We get I for a while I was getting fat reality fucking viewers that would come to the show. <laughs> hey, can we have a picture together? Can you get your fucking gravy hands off of me? And and they're sitting there holding you while their fat friend doesn't know how to work the camera. Oh, and the worst sweat is oh. pouring down off of them on you. Not exclusive to you. I just wanna <laughs> been there. <laughs> it's I, uh, called every listener of this show. <laughs> oh, exactly. <laughs> yeah, no, I'm talking about girls, not guys. Yeah. yeah exactly. Who do you think is who do you think is fucking asking us for photos? The, yeah. The All guys Swedish models. <laughs> <laughs> and they only have one because they have like some kind of a fucking. They had a mastectomy. We have mastectomy males. Uh, is that is that the, that's hilarious. Isn't that the worst uh, when the other one can't work the camera? You're like, can you fucking go it's practice? Sh- it's horrible. <laughs> and you got to stand there with the dumb smile on your face, yeah. holding a sweaty back. <laughs> and you're just like, oh, come on, take the pic. And you start actually yelling, take the picture. Just, that's that's got to make the person feel good. I fucking yell at I want to get away from this person as quickly as possible. I, I go, this isn't a fucking photo shoot. Take the picture yeah, you already. You always have get to it. have your camera fucking ready. There's no... Well, Jimmy, you're a professional. Yeah, there's no this. reason to do that. Like, you know what I mean? Like, if you want to get a really good picture, you have to fucking have a... a is that the one you posted? It is. Is that Kevorkian? Yes. Where'd Where the that? hell was Jack Kevorkian? Eh, maybe he was, I, uh, oh. put his career to rest. <laughs> <laughs> I liked his Twitter last night. What? Making an appointment for his chick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Go see him making an appointment for my girl. <laughs> yeah, it was me and Jack Kevorkian. Jack Kevorkian? <laughs> yeah. Was, uh... I honestly wasn't even sure if he was out of prison. Is he I, out of prison, or was that before? He no, went, Jimmy. No, that, I, went to, I went to jail. I'm his lawyer. I said, was that before he went there? No, no, no. That was that was yesterday. We had an appeal, so I flew out to Michigan, and we were in court. And we took a quick picture of my sweatshirt. Now, that was yesterday. Uh, I don't want to blow it, but I guess I, sh- I I don't know if they've announced it or not, so I don't want to. Oh, well, it was very something here. Yeah, it was very okay. hush hush when it happened. So. Oh, okay. Like no, nobody knew about it, and people were panicking. Who? Sh- thought they should have known about wow. it. Wow. Okay, well, is there any way people... How about for the next break? Can somebody find out if it's okay? Because I would I would love to say it properly. I'll yeah, text yeah. Eric so he can... Yeah, 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 because I, I, would, I would love to say... Uh, talk about it in a very positive way. I didn't yeah, see yeah. anything. You know what I mean? Did you... Did, yeah. Did you talk to him at all? Very briefly. I was introduced to him, and uh, he yeah. was very nice. And um, Did you just say, Murderer! Yeah. Murderer! <laughs> I'm like, uh, I, sh- I, I would love, I asked them as they were leaving, I'm like, well, you guys, do you do, uh, are you going to be around? Because this was yesterday late, I was here doing the Raw Dog show, and I happened to see him. Mm-hmm. Get out. Dave, you think he's coming uh, he's tomorrow leaving. night to the treehouse to see me in Danbury? Oh, and in I Stratford? hope so. <laughs> yes. In, 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 I, in I, this I little think... box. <laughs> <laughs> He'll be outside for audience members who want to sign up for his service. <laughs> <laughs> He, he, um, no, he's going back today, unfortunately. I would love to talk to him. I don't know what time he's going back. He might have morning press elsewhere, but I asked if he was available for us to get, to get today. Mm-hmm. And the guy he was with goes, no, he's just, I, I think he's got shit to do. It was the last minute. It wasn't a big news story that he got out. It was. It was? No. I, it, Pacino, I don't know just, King. Pacino just internet. played him. Yeah. yeah. Pacino <laughs> just played him. Foss just said, not on the internet. Yeah, not on the internet. Why? It wasn't <laughs> big on the <laughs> internet? <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait, can you Google? Can somebody fucking Google it Jack Kevorkian? It wasn't front page on MSN in, in, at all. Okay. Who uses MSN, that shitty site? Who uses them? Uh, I know one person, and you're sitting across from them. What's <laughs> the, a front page to any of them oh are all the same. Oh, my God. What? Here's the second post. Uh, the first one is Jack Kevorkian Wikipedia. The second one is Kevorkian released from prison after eight years. <laughs> okay, but it wasn't years. front page. And it comes from MSNBC. <laughs> Wait, what day was it on? What day did this the happen? Day June 1st, 2007. Oh, I was on the road. <laughs> Unfortunately, not splattered under a bus. This one, I don't. I don't like your uh, your jabs. You're not you're, a nice you're person. You're right. You're right. I, <laughs> I apologize, Rich. Is it, is it, it, Why just, walk in here just yeah, with, full of just full piss of and vinegar, ven- piss venom? I, by the, I listen. Why I love Ant because I, I was uh, I was doing a little fucking last night, and before I went to bed, ah. I saw I saw this on my phone. I saw a mist. FaceTime request from Anthony. Yeah. <laughs> so I figured he hit the wrong one with his fucking big hawk. <laughs> no. 
Uh, I, but it was so funny. I'm like, I would have picked up and just fucking FaceTimed them. I was actually, I wanted to FaceTime you. What's FaceTime? Uh, oh, what's well, FaceTime? What's FaceTime? I mean, stop. come on. This, this is, uh, you know, what? the latest thing. I heard you talking about the iPhone. Yeah. A little bit. Uh, I uh, picked it up yesterday. Uh, love it. Yeah, me too, man. Love it. This FaceTime thing is ridiculous. What the fuck is FaceTime? It, it's, it's the future. It's video. It's a video phone. That you just, you, you call somebody, yeah. and instead of just hitting call, you hit FaceTime, and if they have a like phone, uh, the iPhone, you just sit there talking to them and look at their video. You need you need Wi-Fi. You can't do it on 3G, right? Right, for yeah, now. At, at this moment. Right, exactly, <laughs> Sam. Thank you. It's this almost a lot of like Skype. Like... <laughs> <laughs> In a way. Almost. I know. It, it's pretty nice. soon, Oprah's going to say we have them on FaceFone. But it's uh, it, it's face phone, <laughs> face phone, <laughs> face time, face time, yeah, face oh, phone, whatever. Give me a little face time. That's how he remembers how to talk on the phone. He just says face phone. Face and he, phone. He leads them both towards each other, head down, <laughs> phone up until they meet. Well, yeah, I was yeah, just face phoning. Well, I wanted to. I wanted to face phone. Can, we, know, can face, we go uh, back to normal phone flat on that one again? Oh, Why? damn! Now you're being mean. I'm not oh. afraid to bomb once in a while, Rich. <laughs> Is that the uh, <laughs> your fucking eight gig iPhone? Is Shut that up. your old iPhone? <laughs> Look awful. at that thing. Oh, Listen, the God. fact that I got God. this, I stepped up. Okay. Did you? I think uh, just step up to the ledge of the Empire to me. State. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell fucking Coffee Boy to shut his oh, mouth while we're talking? Oh damn! Sam just, just, just got trying to own. Add some sound to the program. Is that what you're doing? Your body. sound should be yeah. when you're bent over, squealing <laughs> as you're getting rammed by the fucking host. Now shut damn. your mouth. Jesus. Ooh, I kind of like the way that ended. I do too. I don't, mind. Oh. I don't mind Sam getting fucked, but if it's one of us fucking, I'm, I'm, I'm completely for it. <laughs> and. And uh, here's how uh, incredibly stupid uh, a lot of our listeners are. I uh, Twittered uh, right after I got my iPhone. And if I could pop it up here. Uh, yeah. I Twittered uh, about my, my new iPhone. And I'm stalling because I'm trying to find it. Yeah. yeah That's how, by the way, whenever we look for things on our phone, it's a way of stalling when we talk slow. And I was and looking at, as we're hitting. did at the time was pressed buttons. Are you I, dude, as I'm, I'm doing now? I'm blown away by like how much this is so much better than the last one. Like it's fucking. I don't want to keep rambling about the iPhone. It's not an Apple commercial, but god damn it, I fucking like it. It really is a good was, one. Was yeah. there a phone in between this one and that one? Even oh, oh, which one is that? Oh, which one? This is, the, is that 3G or 3GS? Yeah, the StarTag. Oh, this is <laughs> the Pebble. You're right. You know what? <laughs> this might be 3G because it was like six months ago. I got it. I think it could be 3GS. Yeah, if you Danny, can you look at his phone and see how it, Danny could tell? Watch him just wipe out all his data. Oh, <laughs> factory, cool. do, do factory reset. Uh, that will show you. If it, if it fucking, <laughs> that will show you if it's good. Uh, while you're uh, looking, here is what how dumb our, our listeners can be. I uh, the first thing I tweeted was, uh, it was supposed to say first tweet from my new iPhone. I'm so excited. This phone rules. It's all mine, suckers. Ha. <laughs> Now, I would never tweet something yeah, as stupid as that. No, you, but you I tweeted, fist tweet, fram my no eye fan. I'm so exited. This foam rigels. It's all mime suchers. Everything's spelt wrong. Like, obviously, I get a new iPhone, and I make it seem like it's all fucked up because I can't type anything right. People actually thought the iPhone sucked because it wasn't correcting <laughs> my every word is wrong spelling. Like, oh, I have a BlackBerry with a broken keyboard, and at least that can work, can spell. Spelled every single word wrong. Oh, yeah. It's not the best joke ever, but you know what? It's a little visual text joke. I actually thought as you were saying that, that it was an accident, but you just had your fingers off one key, and then it just sent. Like, you know, your fingers, like, instead of where your fingers would be, they were yeah. off one key, and it just uh, sent. And it, I actually it, thought... It, 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 like, would have corrected, I think. Do you know how much that hurts? I'm yeah. as dumb as they are. Yeah, <laughs> see, you're stupid, too. I would have done the I, same I, thing. Dude, you're fucking over everyone's head. I actually, thought, right, head. I actually <laughs> thought when you were saying like, that... Yes. <laughs> Yes, Rich Voss. Nothing. The joke was oh. three fucking tries ago. What was what it? We didn't hear it. Is that Aunt Danny? What kind of phone does he have? It's. It's. I think it's just three G. It's not DS. I. It's not he's DS. He's got oh. this like wrap on it that he won't take off. So no, I, I don't have a wrap on it. It's just a thing. <laughs> didn't you have the old <laughs> three? Didn't you have the old three G SS? Oh, there you go. Nazi joke. All right. 
That wasn't bad. Yeah, no, I don't mind a good Nazi joke every, <laughs> every minute. <laughs> no, I, uh, I I really like it. Um, uh, Jason Bateman, did you talk anything about that? Jason Bateman at the Apple Store? Yes, they had a little bit of a jam up. Him. They booed him because uh, an Apple employee yeah, went out, saw him online, and uh, escorted him inside. <laughs> and he was summarily booed by uh, by the other people that had to wait for hours, I gather. Yeah. Did you um, get I, uh, on the other hand, uh, <laughs> I got taken care of too. Did you? Is, if I didn't have an great. issue, they might not have. But I think the management felt oh, bad. An issue? Not with the phone, but with the, the pre-order. <laughs> with childhood. Uh, yeah, uh, yeah, with my neighbor. Do you have the iPad yet? I ordered it, but it hasn't come yet because they're on back order. I, I think I'm going to get it in 2014. I, it's like you have <laughs> you Chinese have kids that make a dollar an hour. Will you fucking work you those know, little cocksuckers harder? Burn their little fingers off soldering. Come on, hurry. <laughs> oh, look, he cleans the munitions with his little fingers. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, I got it. I, I, I like it a lot. I, really? I didn't think it was going to be of any use to me. I, uh, I thought I have a, a MacBook Air. It's like, all right, you just flip the uh, notebook open and... And you do whatever you're going to do on the uh, the iPad. But then I, I got one sent to me by the lovely uh, people at uh, uh, Mohegan Sun. Oh. Yeah, yes, yes, yes. And um, it's it's great. You just have it there. It's like sitting on a table. Now I sound like uh, Bobby Kelly. Dude, it's just sitting on the table. You pick it up. Boom. You're online. But it is. You don't have to. It seems like a laptop isn't it isn't that much of a problem to flip a laptop open and power it up. But uh, to just have it on a table like a book or a newspaper or something where you could just pick it up, turn it on, and you're reading uh, the news, you're reading uh, uh, any website, shit like that, with plenty of apps. Steve, but Bobby's like, in, and, and in the car, it's the best navigation system. All right, like now that's a, stupid. Now he's setting it up as his... <laughs> GPS in the it car. It's not yeah. the best job. Just get it. It, it. Tom Tom is great yeah, for yeah. that. Or, or every new car has it built in. But I can't imagine that thing. Step on the brake too hard, it just falls on the floor. Yeah. What are you doing? I told you we had a, we had a gig in Florida. I was doing the improv, and, and the, the guy was had an iPhone with him, and he was trying to use the navigation on that to take us to morning radio. We're doing sixty five, and he's scrolling on the phone. <laughs> oh, to get, I'm like, what are we doing? That doesn't work. That's just dangerous. And by the way, it's okay to say okay. Yeah, I didn't want to blow it because uh, you know <laughs> we we love Ron and Fez. I, I met him because uh, uh, Ronnie was interviewing him, and they're a dedicated show, and they stayed late. And Ron is a fucking masterful interviewer. So yeah. Ron's interview with Jack Kevorkian will be on today. I think at one o'clock. Wow. Uh, Ron and Fez. Yeah, but I didn't want to say that in case they were however they were doing it. But uh, I'm glad to say because listen to it because Ron goes, you got to hear it. He's great. Did he He's wire fun. him up to Fez? <laughs> 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 what Ronnie was doing. <laughs> but uh, if, if, if there's anybody you want to hear interview Ron. Um, it would be I would I would want to hear me do it because I'm selfish and of want course. To, to meet him. But aside from that, I would love to hear Ron do it. Ronnie Bennington, uh, yeah, anyone, comic or a guy that has killed people. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah it's, uh, one guy does. One guy kills people for uh, for real. One guy kills people doing jokes and stuff. You know. <laughs> yeah, Chip. <laughs> I, 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 it actually makes sense. Chip gets loud though when he gets eager. Yeah, when, yeah. When he really has a eager. home run. Start yeah. stumbling on words. A home run. Because he knows on some level that he bombs, but when he knows a home run is coming, he fucking yes. forces it. And he doesn't want anyone stepping on him, so yeah. he really starts yelling. He just jumps in there with oh. fucking all, all with vigor. Ugh. Is um Colin coming in? He is. Colin will be here probably in a little over an hour. Oh, we get that testicle thing today. Yeah. Oh, what's like, that? I gotta oh. work, go shave. <laughs> oh, Rich. Were you doing a balls on your chin joke? Uh, you I, I have no idea. No, my, oh. no, my ass. Rich goes, I got a. <laughs> my nose is starting to get really stuck because I took Afrin last oh, night. Oh, why? It's wearing off because I just. Quick fix stuff. I, I, I know. <laughs> I couldn't sleep. Every doctor I get up, says every I doctor know. says it's the worst thing for you. And they're right. Yeah. Four to five. I know. And, and no, I agree was, with them. It was worse it than was, like heroin. What's that? Worse than heroin. Every doctor says it's the worst thing for you. Yeah, I know people that were sucking dick over for Afrin. <laughs> for Afrin. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe I was going to suck a dick last night, and I wanted to clear up my nose with Afrin so I could breathe because it was a big one. <laughs> uh, the, uh, today's menu. By the way, Steve oh, just handed us uh, yes. his his own personal lunch menu, which yes. <laughs> all he did was write Opie and Anthony Testicle Fest on top of it. Yes. <laughs> uh, today's menu, lamb balls, veal balls, 
bull balls, duck balls, uh, yeah. lamb fries with risotto and garlic, the veal balls marsala with parmigiano polenta, bull balls schnitzel with, ah. s- what's that, spetzel? I, I don't know. Spetzel, yeah, spetzel. And vinegar sauce. Duck fries with papillardi, fava, asparagus, and summer black truffle. Fries is the industry term for anything, including testicles, as an ingredient. Oh, okay. Really? They're cooking that shit here? <clears throat> okay. So that's no, all right. That explains a lot. Right. When I said, what are you doing? And you said, I'm shoving fries into my face. <laughs> Sorry, Steve. Falls in your mouth. <laughs> oh, shit. Swim walk. <laughs> I'm not gay. Um, I have a fries war helmet. <laughs> <laughs> that's only half of the uh, the supply of course will be prepared there's two like that. balls no <laughs> well, yeah. oh I thought you meant yeah exactly silly me uh, right this actually is uh, wow it, it sounds delicious doesn't it if it wasn't balls I mean if it was chicken or a lamb <laughs> chop yeah. or steak sounds great but um, the fact that it's balls it, it, I, I right. can't imagine who is eating this by the way um Oh, Eric, <laughs> really, Iraq will yeah. be eating this. But half of the movie... <laughs> not just me. It's just oh. you. Yeah, well, for you, it's 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 you right now. I'm waiting on the okay to see if we can have anybody else do it. I would not. I would have. It's food. Well, it's cooked. Uh, yeah. it's deliciously. Cooked, it's cooked. Half of them will be prepared like this. Oh, the uh, oh. Other half. Yeah, just fried up in a pan. No, <laughs> we'll be stuck to a hole. <laughs> <laughs> uh, boiled. Just boiled balls? <laughs> boiled balls. Ugh. I'm hungry now. <laughs> Where's the intern? Can we my break? Cause I, we, I, I, gotta, I think we, I got to piss desperately. Yay! And I want to eat my... Uh, Big Boy has oatmeal. Oh. And I'd like to have my oatmeal with my blueberries. Right. And... All right, so we'll get back and I get some food. Is that cool? Yes, absolutely. Can't and, wait uh, till uh, Colin gets here I meant we to, all have fun. I meant to watch your video again yesterday, but I forgot. Uh, the fucking... Uh, yeah, I have a, an idea for a new one. Because uh, I'm just going to continue the uh, karaoke and guns kind of uh, uh, t- uh, topic. It's great. It's fun. Just get get up on stage with high-powered weapons and sing karaoke. For the most part, very sensitive, loving songs. It just looks odd. It really does. And I think I might have uh, miscredited Colin Quinn with the idea when it may have been Louis Black. Oh. I'm not sure. We should do some But research. someone called me out and said... Anthony, you've c- credited Colin Quinn with saying that I uh, ought to do this, and it might have been Lewis Black. Can I say, because I was here when Lewis was, Yeah. if I said it, not Lewis, I'm oh. suing you. Wow. <laughs> for, pilfer- wow. For, for pilfering an idea. If I have to change the, the, so- uh, the subject line on, on my video, I'll be very upset. <laughs> See? The- oh, my God. Look at that. that fucking- dude, that's a real gun. No, I'm talking about the, yes. the painting on it. Look at that fucking That's gun. That's a real 50 cal that sits on his kitchen table. Yes, it sits up on the island there. The pointing island. at the back door, just wow. in case. Where did it all go wrong with you? That's nothing wrong with that. Look, yes, there is. Dude, what, is what, what should be happening is this. As this is happening in the back, it should be a montage of your life. And yeah. some older man pushing a young afro into a pillow. <laughs> <laughs> I, I am seriously thinking about uh, green screening the back, oh, and, that, and then I could drop in some fun little video clips maybe, behind uh, me. Maybe you up in a treehouse or taking yeah, yeah. a shower with your brother and dad. Ex- exactly. That's why I'm I'm holding on to that unnecessary yes. weapon. Is this, that is that like a, a, a? I know this is dumb because I don't no, know no, guns. It's okay. Is that like a machine gun or automatic or what? No, I, automatic's not allowed. It's, it's not semi-automatic. Semi-automatic. So as fast as you pull the trigger, there's a ten they rounds keep in it. Only it's, ten though. Yeah, but it's only it's ten. A ra- the round. The round is about five inches long. It's yeah. a giant bullet. That it's, a javelin. it's a javelin. It's a fifty caliber. Yeah. cock. It's giant. <laughs> this is what you should be singing with this. You'll never hurt me again. <laughs> <laughs> Just try it. <laughs> should we, uh, yeah, we'll, take, we'll take a break and uh, be back in we'll seconds. Back. back soon. All the energy show on the virus. Serious XM. Ah, uh, yes. A year ago today. It was a year ago wow. today we lost. We lost the king of pop, Michael Jackson. And little children were able to come out of their homes looking around doorways. Is it safe? <laughs> Is my little pee-pee safe? 
I need all over relax. <laughs> Sphincter muscles loosened. Read the sigh of relief. <laughs> the Ian special's on tonight, too, I think. Uh, oh, really? The Ian, um, Ian Halperin. Halperin special on TV Guide. Yes, sir. Uh, we have a caller in the hotline. Oh, okay. Oh. Mm -hmm. Yes, caller. Yeah, hi, boys. Looking good. Oh, hey, Jay. Oh, look at who it is. Jay Moore. Hi, Jay. Hey, uh, my wife had an interesting question. Why do they still call him Blanket? <laughs> Why am I fucking him? <laughs> oh, oh, Jesus. Oh, Rich Voss, ladies and gentlemen. Rich Voss. Is that really Voss? It yeah. is. Yes. I saw your uh, Comedy Central special. It was very good, Richie. Thank you. Which one? Uh, the one where you were complaining about your coffee maker in your room. Oh, a thank you. Of, a, lot, a lot of it was about, like, shitty hotels. You kind of outed yourself as a middle. <laughs> thank you. <laughs> thank you. I, it, that would be co-middle. She goes, did you, uh, did you try plugging it in with the cord? No, I thought that was a pull start. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Funny. Oh, I have another one coming out in the, uh, in the fall. Oh, do you? It'll be my fourth. Yeah, it's, you're on it, stupid. It's called Comics it was, Anonymous. It's nice that you decided to close your uh, your big special with a joke about jism floating towards you. <laughs> <laughs> Very I, good. My wife just said, it's a classic, honey. Wait, what did she say about uh, uh, Michael Jackson's kid? You were starting that. She goes, he's dead. Why do they still call him fucking Blanket? Like, call him Jeff or Mike, whatever <laughs> name is. Yeah, because that was like Michael Jackson's <laughs> curse. Uh, to, that he that he called him blanket. Yeah, call the kid. Give him a regular name. Let it, him grow up normal now. Isn't his name Prince too? Like his kid is Prince, and his yeah. name. He's a weird. Prince too. It is Prince too, right? Yeah, I think it's actually his name is George Foreman. Hey <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey oh, boy, uh, Jay, you certainly stirred things up between us and the Iron Sheik. Wow, <laughs> yes. Fuck, make you humble, ten inch cock. I don't know how. His closing wrestling move was just fucking railing everyone's assholes open. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, seems... Ten-inch cock make you fuck humble. <laughs> he, uh, he, he had been doing that gag for, uh, for a while, and every time he's been on our show, he's unloaded like that. So you calling him out was kind of funny, just going back and forth. And he got so pissed off. And just, well, pit, as opposed to pissed on last time he was on the show. Uh, uh, that, as to pissed on? Yeah, pissed on, I piss on you. That he got all uh, pissed and, and fucking just walked out. Like the best is on YouTube, Bill Burr's face, just looking at the fucking Opie slip phone like, oh, my God. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> hey, I just saw Bill Burr in Brooklyn's Finest. He did a hell of a job. Is really? he in that? <clears throat> I have that yeah, movie. You've got a big part, Jimmy. I didn't know that. Now I'm bothered. I don't want to see my <laughs> friend doing a good job in a movie. Yeah, he's like he's just a regular cop. It's good. And he does a good job? Wow. I, I can so see I that. So I it was a pull start. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's still on the line? <laughs> yes. Oh, hey, I didn't know. I, how you been, man? I've been good, brother. Where are you where are you working now? Vinny's, Uncle Chucky's, what is it? Oh, really? This weekend? No, 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 I'm at comics. I'm getting people there. Wait, when did you cancel it? Wait, oh, 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 Rich. <laughs> I, yeah, like 30 people. Shut That's up. Because I don't pay for you, the room, Rich. Shut up. Oh, you, oh, you, oh, oh, you, oh, yeah, really? You take that? Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. Jay, Rich Have is going to be at the Treehouse June 26th at 8 p.m. in Danbury, Connecticut. Watching, watching no, Anthony get at, raped. At, at a Treehouse. <laughs> at, at, at a Treehouse. Oh, that's what I just... Yeah. I'll suck your cock. That's what, <laughs> He's doing the, the, the tree fort for the lords. The gang. Oh, the... Richard Voss. By the way, I was telling my girlfriend about my gang when I was in and how we were oh, called the lords. God. And uh, she was really embarrassed. No. For me. You were in a gang? Hey, Greg Hughes. Yeah. He's sick today. Yeah. Ah, he's got a case of the old, uh, I got nothing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think he's been sleeping much. I don't know how much, I don't know if he's sleeping through the night yet. I think he's kind of getting like halfway there. Yeah, so the think... parenthood thing. Yeah, what the fuck? I got a baby. I sleep. Let the fucking broad take care of it. That's your job. You're a bitch. Take care of the baby. I'm going to she... fucking work. Well, you're Jeez, a man. No wonder your marriage went so well. Yeah. It's ass. It's fucking broads. They want you to do everything. Bring home fucking cash. Take care of the baby. What the fuck? I thought it was a pull start. Yeah, what the fuck? I'm just going to say that all day. I know. Okay, I'm not That is ready. a fucking great joke. Is that bacon or turkey bacon? Ooh. Huh? Turkey bacon. 
Is it really? Mm -hmm. I love turkey bacon. I don't eat red meat unless it's cut. Nothing on well, that it's one. It's a fucking great show. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just well, trying to, we just stared at Rich, not understanding the, the joke there. What was that? I don't eat red meat. He was saying cocks. cocks. It was a cock oh, joke. You see? Oh. If you made me keep up. Well, keep why up. is a dick red meat? A uh, good head. It's red. <laughs> it's an Indian. <laughs> it's an Indian head. That's it. Rich, have fun. Good job at the treehouse this weekend. Sure, Jimmy, where will you be? Uh, I'm nowhere this weekend. I'm just doing the Borgata July 2-3, but I got nothing this weekend. I'm just hanging out. I might go see Colin's show. Where's Chip Chipperson this weekend? So I'm going to be all over the place, Jay. My nickname when I was a kid was was uh, Maps Chipperson, you know? <laughs> <laughs> Maps Chipperson. Well, like more importantly, where's that anal rapist wrestler going to be? <laughs> <laughs> oh, fuck you. Uh, you take my 10-inch cook. Yeah, he was when, was, has that always been his go-to? Like, I'll fuck your ass, make you humble. I saw him on YouTube do, talking about Brian Blair and fucking Hulk Hogan. Fuck, fuck Brian Blair and his ass, fucking ten-inch cook. <laughs> yeah, he uh, he really seems to like that uh, fucking people in order to humble them. <laughs> hey, Jay, I got a birthday coming up. I got the house. You got a so birthday coming up. Well, August 23rd is my birthday. You know, I'm giving you guys a lot of lead weight. You can get camel clutch and a fucking 10-inch cock of my fucking ass with the chomp one. <laughs> was, was the camel clutch like a fucking move, uh, Sam? The Sam camel Robert? clutch, I mean, you mount the back, so if you if you back up a little bit, you could insert the cock in He the was ass, put yeah. cock, his <laughs> cock. <Yeah. laughs> For my 35th birthday, my wife says, what do you want? I go, you know that lady, China, the wrestler? She goes, yeah. I go, I want her to come over to the house. Really? Why? Because it was like being a dick, just making stupid shit up. Oh, ding dong, honey, someone's at the door for you. Hi, it's Johnny. How are you? <laughs> Did you just say your 35th Tony birthday? Tony Lauer shows up, and then my wife was making breakfast, and she says, here's a sentence I never thought I'd say. China, can I make you some eggs? <laughs> <laughs> and she With just her... fucking sat there on my couch and it was like this incredibly uncomfortable thing where we all just sat there realizing the only reason she was there is because she was a freak and for two grand she in your house too. With her giant clit. Oh, I love her big clit. It's huge. I really do. Did you see it, uh, Jay? You ever see her clit? No. On, it's online. So it's not like, you know, I meant live. You could just look at it and see pictures and uh, see it. It's the size of like a thumb. No, huh? Guess not. <laughs> I got, I, have I offended? Have I offended Jay Moore? No, talking, my phone is crapping out. Talking about Sorry. China's giant thumb-sized clitoris? No, I love it. Yeah. Uh, my phone was crapping out, but uh, I want to let you guys get back to Rich Voss uh, questioning what type of sausage and bacon is in the house. <laughs> hey, Jay, have you watched the new season yet? The new season of what, Rich? Well, that's common. Oh, I watched a little bit of it. I, I like that ventriloquist yeah. dummy that had its own ventriloquist dummy. Yeah, I thought that was kind of funny. There's, some, there's been some funny people on it. Oh, somebody's but doing like that, that gag? Uh, hmm. Andy Kindler, and I like, I like the judges they have. Yeah. Uh, people what, that have uh, what, gone on record as loathing last comic standing. What two <laughs> judges do you like? I like them all. I like that all three at some point had something shitty to say about the show, and then they get a little taste of network money, and they're like, oh, no, I've always loved the show. Yeah, I know. <laughs> That's hilarious. And Natasha Leggero, her whole act is like that she's supposed to be like an aristocrat and stuff. Mm -hmm. Well, if that's the case, wash your fucking hair. Who's that? <laughs> Natasha Leggero. 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 <laughs> like, she's even have, like fucking conditioned hair. She's wearing like those gloves and acting like Cruella de Vil on stage. She's doing jokes about like, ugh, poor people. I'm like, bitch, look at your hair. What the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> it, look, you're noticing hairstyles though What's on that? comics. Robinson's doing a good job though. I mean, I think yeah, I think they got good comics. That guy uh, Eddie Feldman, he's fucking hilarious. When they advanced into the quarterfinals or whatever, I don't know how they work it now. But yeah. He goes, I'm glad I advanced because ever since I got into comedy, my goal was to defeat other comics. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a good right. line. <laughs> Di Stefano is uh, pretty fucking funny. Is he funny. doing well? Yeah, he's pretty funny. Just mm. another network thing that passed me by. Oh, really? You know what's yeah. hilarious? is like when people like Paula Bell don't make it, and you're like, oh, that must have been humiliating. <laughs> right. I yeah, know. it's got to be tough, dude. The Jim David. Jim David, <clears throat> sometimes they don't, they don't understand how funny these... Jim David would be fucking... 
Because he's nuts, but he's a funny comic, and he would be yeah. really funny in the house. There's no house. It's just they're oh. trying to do, like, Idol. They're trying to compete. Oh, there's no house? No house. Oh, okay. I didn't oh, know. it's not like, uh, talk to him, yeah. You talk to him, he'll kill me. <laughs> they have they have to do uh they have to keep up with like what's uh what's yeah. current in reality. Well, it was the house thing for a long time, being kicked out of the house. Well, Ugh. the difference between didn't work with the last comic. And here's the, the, the difference between last comic and idol. So you could you could grab somebody off off their sofa or out of their house, and they could sing their ass off. They could be great. They could go on idol and go, holy fuck, this guy could win. He's never sang yeah. in a club. You can't do that with comedy. Comedy, you have to. You have to be doing it at least 10 you years. You have to have had worked. At least 10 years. Yeah. To be, you can't just grab somebody up and go, be funny. Right, right, right. It's impossible. Hold I on. Don't. I, hold on. I got another call. That fan. That's real? <laughs> what, what did you order? <laughs> <laughs> How fucking quick is Rich? Right, I, I got to oh. go back to bed. All right. All right. Go sleepy. Thanks Good for uh, thanks See you, for buddy. destroying our relationship with the Iron Sheik, by the way. Start sucking each other's dick, just yet, gentlemen. <laughs> <laughs> thanks a lot, Jay. See you, man. Jay Moore, there he there yeah. he goes. Uh, I'm kind of happy about that whole Iron Sheik thing. I'm just getting a little tired of exactly little tired of him. Cares. Like, what were we gonna do with him? He would have just talked about his cook, his ten-inch cook, and humbling. And all right, I, do, I go Thank to wrestle. Jay. I love to wrestle in the Garden. We get Madison it. Madison Square Garden, the uh, greatest city in the world. All right. Roman Greco. He, he walked out. He got mad. I mean, it doesn't even seem he's coherent enough to get mad or know what's going on. Right? He's what? He, he could even gra grasp what's going on. Yeah. I say coherent. There's not the, is that wrong? Coherent? What? The That's when two it? herons share something. <laughs> what is it? Don't even answer him. Coherent. Coherent. No, just coherent. Through. Coherent is actually. Right. You went this far saying it that way. You might as well just live out the rest of your life saying it the same way. I was speaking at a comedy school last week, and what? I was getting. Uh, uh, what were you doing? <laughs> I was in Minneapolis. So for the week before, I'm in Vegas, and Louis Anderson calls me. And he, he, you want your cock, son? <laughs> I know. I know. And I'm saying to myself, because it could be in Vegas, it could be any fucking impressionist calling. I go, Who is this? <laughs> right? So they do this thing. Uh, Don't hang up. It's Jerry Langford. <laughs> <laughs> it's really me. <laughs> We call the third cameraman Helen Keller. His favorite color is plaid. Ah. <laughs> yeah, King Comedy. I'm sorry there. That was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, of course it is. What Rupert is Pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> Mr. Pumpkin. <laughs> Rupert Pumpkin. What are you saying? Yeah. Oh, nothing. So they do this. Look at uh, how much food is on the mic for Rich talking. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Rich. It's a buffet on his microphone. There's hunks of food. All right, so what are you saying, Dolphus? Yeah. Uh... <laughs> I don't remember. Oh, so they have some kind of like crash comedy course. I just spit some. I worst. thought you wanted some corn muffins. No, it's like talking. It's like talking to someone who's throwing corn muffin in a fan. <laughs> That's like it's Gallagher three. Uh, All right, so they wanted some unexperienced comedian to talk. Yeah, they had they, these kids come in and they have some crash comedy thing and this and that. And I'm fucking, you know, and the, you you go over their act. I go, I'm not going over your fucking acts. I go, in two years it won't be the same. And half of you're going to quit to begin with in a year, you know. <laughs> So you, I, I sat there for like six hours, seven hours. It was fun though. There was some funny six guys. or seven hours. Well, I got paid. I oh, wouldn't do it for free. Good money. Fucking, huh? Good money. Yeah, it was not. Who comes not to bad. you with a deal like that? Well, because they have this course. I don't know what they call it. I mean, it. who like approaches you with that? Is it? Louis Anderson called me. If you, oh, because oh. <laughs> he runs. Him and Kyle Cease run the school, right? They they travel around the country and they, I don't. I forget. I know. And there's these like there's guys that are like sixty years old. They want to start. Cotton. Really? Uh. Do you understand? It takes by the time you get semi funny, you're going to be doing it on a respirator. Okay. Did I say that one wrong, too? No, you No, you, but the, the, unfortunately, you did convey that fucking heartless <laughs> cocksucker thought. <laughs> Guy wants to just, you know, he's had his whole life wanting to yeah. be a comedian. He finally gets up the, 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 the chutzpah. Yeah. How about you yeah. just be supportive and go, and maybe he's not going to become the next whatever, but... Well, uh, uh, worked right. his whole see, life, uh, wants to just pursue a dream and now. And just enjoy himself a little. Yeah. Oh, yeah, really good. Dream in another profession, okay? Did you see uh, Chips Cooney on fucking America's Got Talent? I was so Talent? happy for I Chips. Know. How Is he still in it? Huh? I don't know. I just know he made it to Vegas. He's going to Vegas. I love Chips. I was yeah. so happy for him. They'll uh -huh. probably fly him first class and treat him good. Ah, yeah. Of Living course, the, that British guy, 
is oh, such a him. cornball. Oh, that cock. Oh, he's sucker. trying so hard to be the snarky British guy. Yeah. It's like girl. if you can't see how funny Chips was, you dumb motherfucker. No, he smacks his comedy. Like, you know what? He's when a the corny, other comic fake, was... ironic cunt. Mm -hmm. When the other comic, <clears throat> they were booing something. Yeah, I, know, I saw that. All right, you saw it, right? The guy's a cunt. Oh, that's Comics so tough. Get booed. To me, you know there's what? something dishonest about it. It's like, at least when Simon would badmouth somebody, you know he was a guy who really knew music. Yes. And he was being honest. And yeah, being a little cunty. But this guy just seems like, oh, I get it. He's the guy that does this. Well, that's Fucking the whole thing comedy. about that show. It's like, uh, when you got American Idol, it's people singing. And uh, you get people that are judging that, I guess, know singing and the, the industry. But uh, America's Got Talent. How can the judge... Judge something as subjective as comedy, yeah. like and sit there like the, the like you said the English guy just going oh I don't find it funny. Well, yeah. you might not find it funny, but it could be hysterical funny. Like I don't think he's the guy that should be judging comedy. No, he's a prick. Yeah. He's a dick. He really is. He's um, fucking. Yeah. So we're talking about oh the, the comedy school. I'd love to do that. I'd love to talk to the fucking students. Really? Right, do they fly you out? Well, I was in Minneapolis. Oh, they were doing okay. it, but I'm, they're going to be That's doing no. it around the country. No, huh? <laughs> that is no. <laughs> I would I'm talk sure, to him. Yeah, I'm sure they would fly you out. Yeah, were they just captivated? Were they listening, well, like, no, all intent? I, no, I only talked in the beginning. I talked up front, you know, and I yeah. kind of, I think right before. Then we break out in groups. and uh, Sounds like work. It was, No, it was fun, though. You go, yeah. they, they get on stage, and they do a few minutes in front of you. And you, and the whole time I'm thinking, would I fuck her? Uh, oh really? <laughs> <laughs> of course. I'm a teacher. Let's try to get some fucking get out, get something out of this. You are a teacher. That was, that's frightening, right there. Well, I guess yeah, I know. It's like the uh, the the blind is really leading the blind around. You know. I had a. You know, there's good. nothing better than scratching that fucking hemorrhoid. The oh, feeling. How can good I tell you? Is? My my the inside of my asshole lately <laughs> has been. It's been fucking. Itch Fest 2010. <laughs> it's, it's fucking... Does a Roy itch in your asshole? Does it itch? <laughs> Holy shit, it's like a s real small cock. <laughs> uh, really? That's all? Come on. I don't know, dude. I don't get him that yes. much. How did you get it? Did I don't you, know. Do you know how you got it? No, I didn't ask. What what what, what brought you on? <laughs> and it fucking it, it emailed me an answer. Where'd you well, come from? Your forty-five minute shits didn't help. <laughs> All the blood being forced into your little hiney. <laughs> I, I, I think it's from like straining when Stra you're going to the oh, uh, really? to the the bathroom. Uh. Yeah, like if you're straining a put, do you push a lot, Rich? Huh? Do you push a lot when you're trying to uh, take a dump? Oh yeah. Yeah. Sometimes. Well, yeah. I mean, you know. Like this one, today's is going to be nice, a nice flow. <laughs> really? Yeah. You're expecting a good one? <laughs> what, are you kidding me? I, if I don't the have Roy's going to gonna ruin it, though. Really? <clears throat> yeah. yeah Some blocks. There's a lot of blockage with me. You got a lot of blockage? See, that's yeah. what it is. You're probably pushing hard to get it out. Yeah. <gasps> you don't drink enough water, you fucking birth. solid little rock duties. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, water's good for that? I think water's overrated. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not with the whole water thing already. Oh. You mean the thing we need second to air to yeah. live? Yeah, more important, you can survive a lot longer without food than yeah. water. Than water. <laughs> I can't believe you think wa that water does help hydrate you well, and you can take a nice shit. Overrated. Lubes everything up. Yeah, keeps huh? everything moving along, <laughs> yeah, as so they say. Dollar ninety nine jar of fucking Vaseline. That lubes it up, too, baby-o. Baby-o. Voss just likes to be argumentative. Yeah. Like, he's shit-talking water. <laughs> yeah, he's that guy that just has to take the opposing view no matter what it yeah, is. Yeah, I, I, I like... Like, 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 like I won't let them push water on me. Yeah. What are you talking about? You're, you're right. I didn't have anything. Uh, no, I mean, you know, like when they say you got to drink this much water a day. Yeah, yeah, you're supposed to if drink If you put some lemons enough. in it, does that count? I'm, for real, not lemonade. Like say you squeeze some lemons in it. I would believe that would count. Okay, then what the fuck? How about a little coffee? You throw a little coffee in your water. No, that doesn't uh, count. That's, uh, diuretic that's coffee. Caffeine. If yeah. you say you were, and this is for real, and I don't want to sound mm. dumb, uh, so I won't talk. And just, yeah, <laughs> leave the building. Uh, <laughs> Say you were on a boat and you needed water to survive, and you had coffee. Would that? Would that? Uh... How would you have coffee? Coffee makes you thirsty, dude. With like no water, I mean, just not water. No, with you water. Have, you I mean, you don't have straight up water. You had a, a bunch, bunch of, of pre-made yeah. coffee yeah. there. Because that's how we, we all go fishing with a big barrel of <laughs> chock full of nuts in case we want coffee. The high seas. I am, I am what are the things you can add to water? 
and it's still you has with the fucking bricks tied around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> what a dumb scenario. What if you were on the ocean and your boat anchor broke and there was only marmalade in a barrel? Could you still reproduce? <laughs> terrible. What little childlike questions you have. Do you, uh, I love the questions, though. Do They're you great. dream? Like, do you ever think, okay, if I was stranded on a boat, would I rather have three packs of turkey jerky or, like, what's your survival? Your, like, tuna can tuna? Like, what do you think? I try of? not to go that I'd rather far have a helicopter to yeah. fly to land. <laughs> like you don't something. think of a survival? Uh, <clears throat> not uh, on a boat. I'm usually, any survival um, scenarios I have, yeah. usually uh, it's on land. Uh, post-apocalyptic, maybe zombie invasion, maybe, you know, that war. <laughs> you know, that's usually my survival scenarios. Never stranded at sea. That'd be horrid. When, when you see, like, uh, when you see shows where people are, are stranded on a little lifeboat or something, and uh, the camera's always, like, right there with them on the boat, so you don't yeah. get that whole image that they're just a speck. In this giant wasteland of we can't find you. That's the fucking worst. And then your soccer ball floats away. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you get very disappointed. It's just, when, when there, there have been movies where they've pulled, like, out, virtually pulled uh, a virtual camera out and shown, like, uh, <coughs> just this raging ocean Ugh. and just a little dot. And you realize, how do they find anybody that is stranded at sea? It's got to be the most horrible thing. Thinking how alone and just unfindable you are. Oh no, I don't fantasize about that. Have you seen the movie Open Water? Yeah. Yes. Oh. What's that? Oh, isn't that terrible? Yeah. I want to see that. Is that, is that sharks? Is where yeah they go scuba diving and then the boat leaves them. Yeah. Yeah. Is that true story? <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, they said it was based on a true story. Yeah, it was story. based. I want to see. Don't tell me the exact. I actually want to see it. That, I remember hearing about that. That was that's four years old. Yeah, it's now, an old so. movie. Yeah. But, okay, uh, but, but that doesn't change it. the fact that I didn't <laughs> see it. There was a show called uh, There's a show called uh, I Survived. Yes. And one one of the people that they focused on. Well, yes. 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 It's it's good. Sometimes they show the tattoos. <laughs> Jeez. It, they they had a couple of divers, a man and a woman. I guess. It, yes, I saw that one. <laughs> it's who uh, I get, I think it's what Open Water was based on because it's a man and a woman. Yes. Yeah. They go uh, diving and. Uh, the boat, and it looked like, like, why would you go scuba diving in this place? These people that, they, that took them out looked like they had no clue what they were doing. <laughs> the boat drifted away maybe a couple of hundred yards, and they popped their heads up, and the way the sun was positioned, the people on the boat could not see them. And uh, they realized that uh, they, they had to get back because they were running out of fuel as they went moseying around trying to find them. And these people are just bobbing in the water, watching the boat go away, not knowing... If they were coming back, how they would find them, and uh, they had to sit there overnight, and and sharks started sharks come cruising, and uh, it, it just seemed like a horrid thing. They had to swim for land, and uh, they they finally got up to land, and, and the waves are crashing on the rocks, and they were ready to swim in and just get chewed up by the rocks when uh, a boat showed up, and uh, they they waved to them and and did they get bitten them by board. sharks? No, they uh, uh, sharks were were. Coming right near him, though it was, it was very, very harrowing. I don't think they got bit, though. Oh, so you're saying? Yeah, I was saying. Oh, I it was very saying. frightening. I thought you were scary. explaining the movie to him. No, that was uh, the real one. The I survived. There's also that that chick that uh, got abducted when she was uh, a, a young teen, and um, the guy cut her arms off. Oh, Helena. What? No. <laughs> Boxing. Oh, oh fucking <laughs> Patricia Cakes. <laughs> no, not... <laughs> thank you. Not, not Patty Cakes. <laughs> Patricia Cakes. <laughs> and Jimmy was so happy with that one, too. <laughs> Patricia Cakes. <laughs> Uh, so what, oh my God! What happened to this fucking There was girl? a girl that uh, was hitchhiking, and uh, it was her last time hitchhiking. <laughs> <laughs> sure was. Hey, get that toe uh, up. <laughs> she was uh, hitchhiking, and a uh, guy picked her up in a van. She gets in the van, and uh, the guy just proceeds to smash her over the head with like a sledgehammer. Hit her with a sledgehammer in the head, 
and then dragged her out of the van. That's yeah, but you didn't say what road. led up yeah. to that. Oh, really? Yeah, how she reached out that fucking arm and tried turning off the station he was listening to. <laughs> oh, then, well, then she deserved it. She sure did. <laughs> Patricia K. <Kay. laughs> <laughs> and uh, he, he made her stand, stand outside the van and put her hand out and then just hacked it off with a, a machete. No fucking way. And she's describing standing there and feeling some odd, like, thump feeling on her arm and trying to hold on to something with her hand and realizing it was just gone and laying on the ground. Why did he do that? And then cut her other hand off. No fucking way. Yeah. And then threw her in over an embankment right? Right. on the side of the road. She then took her bloody stumps and crawled up the embankment. True. And oh, uh, she was 15, right? Yeah. The car passed. A car passed by, and she was yelling for help. Yeah, and can the someone give me a hand? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> or two. Get the fucking. Nobody would stop. One. The first people didn't even stop for her, and then uh, somebody stopped for and her. And that guy went to jail. He got. He out. He got out. He got the. That fuck motherfucker out. got out of jail. He no absolutely way. left her for dead. Because <gasps> that's even worse dead. than murder. Yeah, yeah. It wasn't like he 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 just. Happened to not kill her because she didn't die. It's the only reason. What she, he wanted her dead. Didn't he do it again? Didn't he kill, hurt somebody again? Oh, yeah, yeah. He wound up getting out and fucking somebody up uh, again. Yeah. I think, so I think he's in prison now or dead or something. The fact that they would allow him out. We have no info on this uh, guy. Fucking <laughs> it's like, what? I don't know. He's in. He's out. Very dangerous. Uh, dead. I have no clue. <laughs> very, very dangerous. Did they get very the careful. hands back on her? Did they get her, no. the hands back She's on her? Uh, no, that was back in I think the seventies, something like that. They didn't have that type of really good surgery, especially after after climbing out of a ditch with your stumps. I don't think it makes a good uh, <laughs> place to sew back an arm when there's pebbles and dirt that they got to scrape out of there. Oh, yeah, yeah. I think they oh. would clean it first. You know? well, well, my friend took off when he was with a uh, uh, what he could table saw. Took off like four fingers. Uh, he just he was kind of drunk and he just went like that with a table saw, and he's sitting there and he sees his fingers on the table. Oh, so he yells at his kid next door because he was working. And he goes, "Hey, get me a bag of ice, right?" Dude, pretty cool under pressure, huh? What's that? He handled that pretty pretty well. Yeah, Clint, East, yeah, did no, Clint Eastwood <laughs> grab him and yeah. put him in a little box. Oh, Mr. Him... Zimmerman! <laughs> Mr. Zimmerman! <laughs> That's great. <laughs> I need a hatchet. I'm working on a table. A hatchet for Doc? Yeah, what kind, what kind, of, what kind of table are you making with a hatchet? I know. What are you cutting? <laughs> yeah. Ah, we're talking about Escape from Alcatraz. Oh, it was a great Clint movie. Eastwood. Yeah, uh, but so they, they cut they his got, fingers off. Of yeah, the so they table got saw. like this one. They put over here and over here. They, no way. They, they moved did. around his fingers. Yeah, and stuff. Yeah. Why? Well, yeah. Why didn't they just put it where? Because one was shattered so bad, and they. Lined oh, so up. they figured he'd need an index finger uh, before he would need like a ring finger. I, you know, I listen. I would listen. I don't know the you choices. You don't know the ins and outs of this whole thing. Does his hand look stupid now? <laughs> I bet it looks dumb. It's, you know, it's, <laughs> it's all off by one. People look at his hand like they're drunk. Uh, what are you doing? <laughs> yeah. What is that? Oh, uh, fucking Pinky so Tuscadero. Because <laughs> he's got two. Microsurgery, I think it was called. Uh, they flew him in. They fucking flew him to uh, fucking New York from Jersey. And Love they, the epilogue here. You know. Exactly. And, uh, you know, he's great. Microsurgery. Been doing awkward push-ups now for 35 years. <laughs> There's this, uh, this woman. Her name was Cookie. Back in when I lived in California, Cookie, and she uh, worked at a deli. <laughs> was she all dully? <laughs> no, actually, she was uh, quite slender. Uh, oh, sorry. Jeez. Chip just made a face. Very angry <laughs> at me. Uh, yeah, this uh, girl named Cookie, and she was cleaning a, a slicer, a meat slicer. <laughs> and and uh, she, she would take the, the blade and move it all the way away from the base of the slicer. And then take a rag as it was running and run it over the blade. And I know I have to. I'm grabbing my hand as I'm, I'm talking about this. It's just, and she, she uh, pushed her hand into the blade, and she said she heard that sound that goes like, zing, 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 zing. You know that that yeah. zingy metal sound of of meat cutting, and her fingers just <laughs> lopped right off. How many of them? The th it was the two middle ones, so it looked like she was constantly uh, Ronnie James Dioing <laughs> rock and roll to people. Well, well, she wrapped the rag on her fist and punched the blade. <laughs> Cookie was a dummy. How Cookie was stupid. She <laughs> took off her whole finger. How thick were those slices of meat? What the well, fuck? she opened the blade all the way up so she could clean the underside of the blade, too. Oh. Yeah, d just the most dangerous thing you could ever do with a slicer. Why not just do it when it's off? Yeah, yeah. Come on, Cook.
cookie, yeah. you dope. So it was, it was uh, unplugged the, in the car. The f yeah. one half of her pinky, and and her entire ring and middle finger gone, and then the tip of her pointer finger. She so can, it was just in a. An we angle. got cookie finger, <laughs> cookie finger, and Tom the turkey. <laughs> <laughs> it's cookie finger. <laughs> this holiday, get cookie finger from Carvel. Yeah. <laughs> Three seven delicious ice creamy fingers. <laughs> Wish I could do that voice. <laughs> finger. But the sound just because you know with that when they cut meat, uh, you hear that zing 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 oh. kind of sound. Ah, and then it's your, your just your fingers. And they for some reason this is back in the seventies too. Couldn't put them back on. They put a man on the moon, but they couldn't sew their cookies fingers back oh, on. Poor cook. Excuse me, ma'am. I asked for pickles, not fingers. <laughs> and I, I was disgusted by. Like Cookie's <laughs> hands, because they were all chopped Did up. Did you want Cookie to grab your dick with that hand? No. Did she still work in a deli? Uh, no, I think they kind of fired her. And then yeah. she there went on a, some kind of compensation. There was a drunk guy that used to oh. just in our neighborhood, hung Jesus by the Danny. store, and his hand was caught in a fire. Did he fart? And it was no, he's just showing pictures of people's hands cut off. His it? fingers, oh, tips of fingers gone. That's it? Well, that's a little piece of a finger. <laughs> All right, I'll find no, don't find a good one. I, I hate that. But but what, quickly, what I hated about Cookie what? was was uh, she came over the house after her her they sewed her little stubs up, and um and it was still healing. But she was making spaghetti, and and she wanted to see if it was done. And she put her stumpy little finger in and held up a piece of spaghetti with it to oh. see if it was al dente, and then dropped it back in the water. And I was like, did you eat spaghetti? No, I starved that <laughs> night. I had to say I wasn't hungry. But you didn't want to. I was starving. But why and I you... didn't want to eat Cookie stump finger spaghetti. Why, why were you oh. over hanging out with Cookie to begin with? But Cookie was a friend of the family. Cookie. Oh. Cookie would come over and Cookie was cooking. Yeah. She was cooking spaghetti. Do you know I, I saw... was so hungry. I I've had such bad oh. spaghetti experiences <laughs> yeah. as a young child. Oh, poor boy. It's amazing. I still eat it. I puked a whole bowl of spaghetti on the fucking ride when I was. <laughs> my mother took us to the boardwalk and we're on the ride. The, the ride was called an older man under was the that? boardwalk no. with no. pushing young Richard's face against the wood. It was just called a walk before Rich got there. And when you puke spaghetti, it looks like you don't even fucking chew it. It was like the whole bowl was in my face. Fucking laugh. And then the people behind me on the roller coaster, <laughs> spaghetti was flying in their fucking face. Were you on a roller coaster or uh, yeah. one of those spinny rides? Whatever it was, it was. I think it was a spinny ride. It's roller coaster. The cops. Just puking my fucking spaghetti all oh. over. The yeah. Oh, and that just stinks, too. I remember kids puking in school in the cafeteria on spaghetti day. And uh, just oh, that's a great picture. Man. Oh what? my God, Danny's pulling up a picture from the. <laughs> wow, it's it's, uh, it's, <laughs> wow. it's from a roller coaster called uh, Goliath, and um, it's it's at that spot where uh, you could have a picture taken, and then you go pick up your picture. And it's it's a guy in the front just puking his guts off. <laughs> That is a great moment captured in time. Wow. And uh, the woman next to him, is it a woman or a man? It's got to be I his friend or his chick. Yeah, his friend. It is getting covered in vomit <laughs> at high velocity. People Hands behind him are really getting it bad. By the people behind <laughs> That is a fascinating picture in like time. Opie's, uh, Opie's brother. The guy getting it the worst. The guy's yeah. mouth is half open. He can't believe it. And there's no, <laughs> you're, you're strapped in. There's nothing you can do about it. You can't leave. You're just getting fucked. Dude, I hope this guy has this fucking photo in every room in his house. <laughs> frame this and put it everywhere. Holy shit. Wow, is that great. Oh, we have a... Uh, a caller who claims oh. he had his fingers ripped off with a table saw. Oh. Oof. Yeah, we got get, save that picture and Twitter that or something. <laughs> that, that is great. Oh, the Goliath 2000, what is it, 6 or 8? 2008. Yes, sir. Oh, Gary. Fantastic. Yeah, what's up, guys? Hey, man. Uh, what, uh, what happened? Something horrible? I called you guys a while back when you were waking up the amputees. If oh. you remember, I, I, uh, nice. I was cutting a board on a table saw, and I had all my weight on it, and there was no rubber feet on the bottom because I let it get beat up. And I lost my balance and kind of fell onto it and put my left hand in the way to keep the blade out of my chest. 
Oh. And so now I have an inch of my index finger, my middle finger, and my ring finger. My pinky's pretty much in half. It like it doesn't extend all the way. God damn and it! They, they put my index finger where my thumb used to be. So. Oh. Oh, that's got to look silly. So people don't know if you're accusing them or just being Fonzie. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, looks, it, it definitely looks kind of wacky. It kind of looks like Benny from fucking Total Recall. Dude, Benny. Did it really hurt or were you in so much shock you didn't feel it at first? You, you, you feel heat. That's all you feel at first. You don't feel anything until you get to the therapy afterwards. I woke up five days later out of a coma. Oh, what? Wow. I, I, I do remember going into the helicopter and looking on my shoulder as they're hitting me with morphine and seeing a piece of bone sticking there. Oh, when you walk around with a, that uh, like broken toy hand, <laughs> do you notice uh, losing friends and stuff over it and stuff? <laughs> huh? People not want to hang out with you anymore. Jesus, Rich. Fucking rotten hand. Guy, uh, what? The worst, the worst missing fingers. Into, What's that? The worst part is going into stores and you see like little kids looking at you and they're like, get the hell you know. Yeah, uh, but don't, at least you can to... finger them without hurting them. <laughs> <laughs> <It's>... <laughs> I got to the point now where I just keep my hand in my pocket as much as possible. Oh, that's got to suck. Oh, yeah. Oh, man. Can't they I come up with something? Does it take you hope... twice as long to swim? I had a whole rig of guitars. So you were doing so good. Really? You were a guitarist? Yeah, I mean, I wasn't, like, professional or anything, but I was definitely, like, into it. And I just, the next one I got home out of the hospital, I sold my rig, my Marshalls. Oh, that's oh, fucking I feel man. good thing you didn't just look at Tony Iommi, who managed to pull it off. Black Sabbath's guitarist, he's missing, yeah. he's a lefty. Yeah. And he's missing the three fucking fingertips in a factory accident. He cut them off. Yeah, really? They're all fake fingertips. Nobody yeah. cares oh. about Black Sabbath. Unfortunately, not I true. only got about an inch <laughs> left of mine, so... Oh, but they can you can't get extensions? Black girls do it for their hair. He, he doesn't understand how we're talking about Black Sabbath, and I mention a guitarist who had his fingers cut off because this guy was a guitarist who had his fingers yeah. cut off. Can't can't see the uh, correlation there. I'm just asking there. if they fucking got extensions. I'm looking out for no, the they guy, don't have maybe. Extensions? No, they extensions like what? They do ask him. I didn't hear what you said. Extensions like what? For his uh, fingers. But like what? You said, oh, you said extensions like something. Like, no, they gave me I don't know. Kind of like suction cup on the end of the nubs, but... Oh. I mean, you go to grab something, they kind of, like, bend and flop backwards. Actually, I was at a Off. Tower Theater show with Jim Norton there, oh. and I was leaving. And as I was leaving, some dude walked into my hand and knocked one of my prosthetics off. So I, <laughs> oh, <laughs> shit. Yeah, was so he I, freaking I, out? No, nah, dude, I got in the middle of everybody and just threw everybody out of the way, picked it up, and ran. <laughs> well, at least you have your feet. Oh, you poor, <laughs> poor bastard. God damn it. Dude, why were you in a... I mean, I understand. It's probably was it shock? Why were you in a coma for five days uh, for I losing know. your fingers? I mean, well, I did hardwood floors in these really nice houses. I was kind of far out. The only hospital nearby was a veterans hospital. They had no trauma unit, so they had a helicopter me out. By the time I got them in the helicopter, I had seventy five percent blood loss. Get the fuck out! Jesus Christ, did you hear a, a tourniquet? Uh, it was the, the lady's house I was in. I I, I, I cut them off from screaming. I run over to her door. To, the blood is hitting the door before I even get to it. Oh. And, uh, I, I'm looking around. She's got two white Mercedes. Uh, I'm looking around. There's blood all over her Mercedes. Her mother comes out, and they're, they're, they're Muslim. So her mother comes out with these oh, leaves, boy. and she starts smacking herself in the face with them, like screaming like prayers and shit, picking my <laughs> fingers up. Holy it was, shit. It was the wackiest thing. I, I'm, I'm losing blood. I had to call 911 because the, lady, the, the mother didn't speak English, and the daughter, like, almost passed out. There's kids running around screaming and crying. <laughs> boy, that's, that must have been some goddamn scene. Oh. Uh, it was horrible. It was, it, yeah, it was, it's not something I like to experience again. How, how long ago did this happen? This is 2004. Oh. Wow, so man. Yeah, man. And, oh, and I feel bad. I, those were just, I, I didn't mean anything. It ruined my career. It was, you know, pretty much took everything from me. But, you know, I, I get into the hospital, and there was a 24-year-old dude there that lost his arm. So I'm looking around like, yeah, you know, it's, it sucks, but it could be a lot worse. Yeah, well, could be better. Did, uh, were you working for somebody? <laughs> Did you, uh, was this your own business? No, I was working for a company, but I wasn't union, so I, I didn't get the kind of money you think I should get <laughs> at all. Well, if I was a union guy, I'd be rich right now. But, well, who do you point your finger at for that? Oh, God. <laughs> oh, who do you throw uh, your finger at for that? Oh, Jesus. Uh, I mean, Danny's you know pulling what up some great shots of missing fingers. <laughs> He's got a good sense of humor. What the fuck? Yeah, that's it. Yeah, Give it him was, a hand. It was a bad deal. And then, they, well, and then the, the paramedics are messing with me. We get to the veterans' hospital. They're like, that's our new helicopter right there. They open up the door. He's like, that's not the one you're getting on, no. He opened up the other door. There's this little blue piece of shit sitting there. I'm like, I'm getting on that one, man. You got to be kidding me. And he's like, here's your pilot. This old, this old white-haired man walks up. 
Jeez, no, what are they joking Vietnam about? Air. You're yeah, missing yeah, I'm your getting a fingers. Vietnam Air helicopter with an old, old pilot. I'm like, I'm not supposed to survive today, am I? Wow, <laughs> man. That, oh, oh, God. Ugh. Yeah, it was bad news. Oh, poor but, like I said, man, I, I see... I, I, the CC in that hospital, just in that, you know, the 24 hours that I was up afterwards, you know, I got like, the terminal cancer patient next to me. Uh, there was, like, like, the guy had his arm cut off. So. Listen, you know what? Yeah. Not, wow. Enough of that. Every Someone has it worse. You're fucked up. And you know what? <laughs> enough of that. Oh, well, he, you know what? A lot of people have it better than you. Let's you know, get it that way. Somebody okay? was, someone was next yes. to you looking at you going, going, well, at least I'm not that yeah, guy. All right. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you know what I'm going to do for you? Um, you know what? If you're in Connecticut tonight, by the, uh, Saturday night, by the Treehouse in uh, Stamford, oh no, I mean in Danbury, uh, or oh there's my. a Treehouse. Rich cut his brain off with a table saw. <laughs> what, if you're any near, this guy had enough tragedy in his life. <laughs> if you're anywhere near where I'm working, Rich Foss is going to let you in. Uh, uh, how many fingers was it? I don't know, but it was at the Borgata, the second and third. Oh, no, no. ah, John. Ah, that's ah, that's thank you, sir. Well, you yeah, trumped you. your plug. Right. I would offer you a free ticket to the Borgata. Are you going to be yes. in Atlantic City? And if you go there. Hold on. Are you going to be in Atlantic City? <laughs> I'm right by Atlantic City. Oh, that's good. I was going to try to rescind that offer because I was just saying it in the moment. <laughs> if you do go to Atlantic City and you play poker, I'll hold your cards for you. Or Atlantic City, but if you go to Atlanta City. <laughs> what did I say? Atlantic City. I'll, I'll, I will leave two tickets for you, sir. If you. If you and your, uh, what's your first name? Gary. Gary, yes, uh, if you if you come up and you show that you're Gary with the fucked up fingers, I will have two tickets for you at one of my Borgata shows. I will definitely do that, Jimmy. Absolutely. Uh, you're a good now, boy. I'll, I'll, I'll even do the, I got five kids to feed. Ah, uh, so Benny. Cool. Yes, Benny. We got to screw you. <laughs> Benny, <laughs> and if you come to the treehouse and not show your fingers, I've got two <laughs> tickets for you. <laughs> I'm, we, can we break? I got a piss, and I think Colin's coming in a few minutes. Yeah, is he yeah, here now? Absolutely. Or he, I got a shit so oh, bad, uh, man. All let's right. do that. Okay, Every time go ahead. I hear a fucked up finger story, I got to Yeah, shit. I got to take a dump. Hey, thanks a lot there. Um, thanks, Gary. F fingers McGillicuddy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we'll see you down there. Just uh, you know, just don't touch me. Just elbow nod me and walk yeah. away. Stubs. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, Okay, our next see commercial. You, are you doing a Butterfinger commercial now? All right, on, on that note, uh, oh, what we'll, the fuck? Uh, what we'll the fuck? be uh, right old... um, back. The Obi and Anthony Show. Show, show, show. On the virus. Ooh. Oh, I get it. All right. Right? Am I right? Yes. Balls? Oh, I thought this song was called... Big dummy no. in honor of Rich. <laughs> uh, bon Scott classic. Yes. That's actually what Ian's special gone too soon. It's about Bon Scott's death. <laughs> very tragic. Yes, very tragic. So we're going to do the testicle eating. Yes. We want to wait, wait for Colin, though. He should be here shortly. Um, yeah, Colin's going to... You can fade uh, that out a little if you want. You have to play the yeah. fucking concert volume. We get it. Right? <laughs> fucking tailgating. We get it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn, <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric. I scolded the poor penguin-looking uh, lad. Eric does look like a penguin in there, and it's really giving me the fucking creeps. <laughs> okay. Sorry. sorry. Oh, she Whoa. just apologizes then. Yeah, that hurts wow. even more than an insult. Showed you. Yeah, he sure did. I'm watching uh, mm. some uh, iPhone uh, problems, they're saying. Oh, what? There's this problem. I don't know. They're pointing out that um, there's been some uh, uh, allegations that, that if you hold the phone in your left hand... Mm -hmm. Um, that you won't get a signal. Well, we talked to uh, Jesus from Gizmodo this morning. Yeah, yeah. And he said that it is true. Haters can hate, though. Yeah, he point, does not like Apple, right. right? That's what one of the callers called it. He said no, that, that's not biased, but one of the callers called in and said that. That he is he is, he indeed, is indeed biased. biased yes. yes. Oh, do you know what I like about this phone, too? There's a feature on it now. One problem is when you're talking, a lot of times the screen if you, is turning left and right. Yeah. Sometimes... Like you're, you're trying to text, and then it's turning to the side, then it's turning back, mm. but now you can lock the position. Yes. How great is that? It's good if you're laying down. Yeah. Like it, you're laying down in bed, and you turn the phone sideways so you can see it normal, and then it uh, stays that way. How do you lock it? 
It's so cr I don't know. I can't show you. You show me after. But just Danny knows phones. everything. Danny, Danny, how does he know the whole phone already? Danny knows I want to show you. He's been reading Where? about it. Double click your little home button. I love cl double, double clicking, clicking the home button. Uh, scroll over towards. Uh, scroll, 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 scroll the scroll. other way. Yeah. Scroll, <laughs> scroll, oh, scroll. And you see that little lock? Yes, thing? I do. Lock. Oh, touch it. I don't want to touch it. Ah! What would happen if my there phone just go. fucking caught on fire? <laughs> just exploded in your hands. Fire. You're missing fingers like our last segment. <laughs> <laughs> it, uh, and then they're showing that there's um, discoloration on the screen. Like sort of, um, I guess, heat discoloration it looked like mm. on the corner of the uh, touch screen. I have yet to see that. Wait, wait. Haters. After what? having it, the phone for You know why a I don't hours. give a shit? Because... I don't have a phone with it. Exactly. My phone works. My phone gets reception. I don't have yellow little dots. So everybody else can go fuck themselves. That's it. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's no reason to talk like that. That's it. They were talking about the celebrities that like the, no one was able to cut the lines and everything. But, I, I mean, you have to be celebrities of our caliber. Jadakiss didn't get to cut the line. Really? Jadakiss. Why? They, he, they showed up. One of his people showed up. At, like, I thought we were talking about celebrities. No, yeah, right. Jadakiss. Who's that? He's a very famous rapper. Oh, he showed yeah, up at like 6.30, and one of his people said, hey, man, Jadakiss is here. He can't be coming out in front of all these people. And so the guy who he was talking to said, all right, well, then you can stand on the line for him, and when you get to the front of the line, you can call Jadakiss and Damn. tell him to take your place. There was lines at the Apple store? Yes, I have all the Apple stores. Oh, really? Wow. I don't yes. know, so I just walked in. Yeah. No. I got my phone, and I left. It was easy. Like, from the time I walked up to the Apple store... Uh, to the time I walked out, it was probably eight minutes. And I bought a case for uh, my iPad, too, at the same time. Mine was like two hours and eight minutes. Two hours? So the two hours was the waiting part. Waiting? In, in a line? Yeah. But your primetime Sam Roberts, you just have to yeah. wait in line. I don't well, like I'm to there. use my celebrity name, you know, for the. I like to be one with the people. There I, is, yeah, be one with the people. Can I say, you know, Richard's not here right now. He's in the bathroom. Can I say how much I hope he is right now? Tear stricken, looking into the toilet and seeing blood. <laughs> <laughs> Tear stricken. Oh, uh, no, I hope he had some kind of a hemorrhage and is just oh, bleeding into the well, toilet. Well, he did say he had a hemorrhoid, so he's probably wiping very gingerly. <laughs> <laughs> very gingerly and tenderly. What's worse than ginger wiping? Ugh. Because you can't really get clean. Wiping your asshole you gingerly feel, sucks. You feel clean. Uh, just having that pain. I'm oh. sorry. What were you talking about? The uh, Apple Store? I yeah, just the uh, the uh, a line of people. There is nothing worse, uh, I would assume, than to have been on that line and watch an idiot such as myself walk in and then walk out a mere eight minutes later with the iPhone in your hand. Like, you, you know I went in there and got an iPhone. And you know, come out with it, and they just had to look like, why? There are people in line, like, you're in, you're out, and people in line haven't even moved. Yeah, like, they haven't Like, they're standing budged. in the same exact spot. My girlfriend showed up to the White Plains Mall at 6.30 in the morning oh. saying, oh, I don't have to leave. I can get to work as long as I'm out of this mall by 8.40. No problem. She didn't even get near the Apple store between 6.30 and 8.40. She should have pre-ordered. She pre stayed there? She did pre-order. Oh. She stood online for that long, though? She stood online for just about two hours and then said, I, And then had to leave? It's not working. How come she didn't want oh. to get closer? She wanted to get closer. Oh. She had to go. She, yeah, oh, after the waiting. Oh. Why so didn't she just... She me. just kept going, no, you go. You go. <laughs> yeah. you, go ahead. <laughs> you go ahead. I'll stay here. No, you. Yeah, let everybody cut in front of her. <laughs> Wow, that was a good one. She liked that one a lot. How come she just didn't walk up to the front and, and give the guy waiting a, a high five in front of the store and then go inside? There's yeah. a line of people. They did it in order of when they arrived. But so. she's, she's a pretty girl. She Very should have pretty. been able to bat her eyes and uh, gotten in there. One would think, but they because she was she got sexual there sexual favors time. sexual favors she didn't offer sexual favors. She, see, that's so. where she see. fucked up. She should have touched some that's penises. She would have got a phone. That's you think so? Some yeah. hand jobs. And big, she would have gotten big in. mistake. Yeah, a couple of handies. Yeah, to the guys. She'd been well. Then I prefer maybe even a free phone. Free phone. Free. Yeah, I'd give her a phone for. Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't want to say well, that. Well, you I'm, did. You just. You've already. No, it's okay. Did you get her a phone too, or just you? No, no, and then she came back, once I got online in the afternoon, she came back after work, and I let her 
cut me in line so she didn't have to yep. wait as long. And Does your screen get all smudgy from your little childlike finger food that you eat? <laughs> no. From but your Cheerios that are put out in the, on the table in front of you? And do you have to wipe pizza bagel off your phone? <laughs> I <laughs> did. I did go have, uh, I got dinner after I got the phone because I had waited for two hours and was hungry. Oh, ah, waited. Uh, waited. Yeah. So I got buffalo wings. And I oh, couldn't touch no. my phone until I got a moist towelette to wipe my hands off. Smart. Moist towelette. Yeah. And you want to have the cook start cooking because uh, Colin just got woken up. He's <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? So if you want to, uh, he'll be here in a little while. Nah, yeah, just him... throw, throw some clothes on. I'm leaving. Uh, you know how it is, boys. <laughs> I'm always sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know. Uh, I'm sleeping. Uh, whatever, all right. All right, yeah, then we'll bring in... Uh... Because Colin, Colin can come in while it's happening, but this way we don't get backed up and it's all of a sudden... Yes. All of a sudden, I think you have an apology, Senator. <laughs> you don't want it to be fucking, you know, 10 o'clock and they're still yeah, cooking. Yeah, yeah, and then we're, uh, we're cooking. Yeah, have him come in. This will be great. Uh, oh, and now, he's... How are these um, going to be prepared? And Steve's going to hold them in his mouth. Hold them in his mouth. Steve, if you would, if you would grab a, a microphone very quickly. Of course. As a microphone. Uh... How is this going to be prepared? Well, he's got them all prepared already. Yeah. The, he's got them in microwavable containers, so he's just got to heat them up. Oh, he's going to nuke them? I want to know how Nuked bad these balls. Can, wait, I want E-Rock in here. Oh. My most valued friend. I, all right, hold on. we got to get a fill-in for him. Hold on. All right. It's the first time anyone's <laughs> yes. ever said that. I want E-Rock in here. Yeah. you got to get a fill-in for him. All right, we'll just take take a lump and... I couldn't think of anything. You have a ham around you just throw that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric. I do love Iraq. Uh, he's uh, cuddly. He's that a good word, boy. You know, you, I don't know how people throw that word love around so easy. It's so hard to say. I oh, hold on. Good. <laughs> I hope that's the doctor. <laughs> Bad news, Mr. Voss. <laughs> Rich was in the middle of whatever he was in the middle of. Yeah. And uh, he, his phone, I guess, vibrated. And he just gets up, walks out, yeah. and walks now away from even the window so we can't even uh, watch him. Oh, I hope he just big crash phone. and he jumps. <laughs> hope it's his fucking accountant. You have nothing, Jew. <laughs> I, uh, we wanted, I wanted to... <laughs> they're going to start cooking, but I wanted to know. Yeah, uh, hi. Uh, uh, is everything in there? Everything's in here. How does it smell raw? I want to know if you can smell it raw. I'm not going to smell okay. the balls. You want the raw ones or you want the boiled ones? No, give them the, whichever ones will not probably smell oh, the best. Oh, oh, oh. That, that, Mars smelling everything? Why? Why do they? Why do people eat this? People really do eat this. Ah, uh, which ones are those? Bull. No, those are small. Oh, that's a piece of one. Oh, God damn it. Oh, God, that's disgusting. I don't want to smell it. Like, I bet I'll, I'll get sick. Give it a whiff there, Iraq. Say what something. Iraq, like? say something so I can figure. Here. Hello, hello. There it's on, buddy. It's on. Um, oh, what does it smell like? Just. It's got a, a bit of a, uh, of a salt water taste, but. Taste? Uh, a smell, sorry, but uh, <laughs> it, it smells almost like. If, like a day or two old like turkey. Like last night. In your mouth. Come on, motherfucker. <laughs> I don't smell that shit. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so it smells um it smells sort of like old briny. Turkey. Old turkey. He right. has breath like salt water and balls, Sam. Oh, damn. <laughs> what is that one? That's a raw bow ball. Wow. Oh, oh it's giant and, and it's, it's disgusting. Bloody. And That's it's a... bloody. There's blood in it. Yeah. It's a bloody bowl. And there's fat pockets. Yeah, there's like fat. There's, there's and yellow. Your, and your fat. pants are. <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Damn. I can't insult Eric when he's holding bloody bull balls. What does it smell like? That Anything? Looks like, that looks like worms. Oh, God. All right, let's see. It's veiny. It's veiny? All right, this, this just smells like raw steak. Really? Oh, good. Yeah. Well, why don't you... Take a big bite. Out. No, no, no. no keep it away. I don't even want to look at it. All right. I'm I, so I, happy. I, I got my tuna fish down on pita bread. Yay. How could you eat? Oh. How could you eat <laughs> at a time like this? You're looking at, like, disgusting balls. Yeah. Um, how can I eat and not how, get hard, you mean? How <laughs> often uh, do you prepare <laughs> these? Do, do people... Is this, like, something people ask for a lot, sir? Never. Never? No. So this is the first time you've prepared... This is the first time I've prepared any of this stuff, yeah. Any of it? Yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Who who would eat this? I, I don't get it. When there is steak and chicken and pork chops and delicious uh, things, why would you eat that? What type of uh, testicle is that, sir? These are uh, veal. Veal balls. Mm -hmm. Poor little veal. Trapped in that little cage. Oh, this has gelatin around it. What? Do you, what oh. <laughs> you can see it like, building up here on the oh, bottom. Oh, yummy. Right? 
Veals are bread like marmalade. Veals are lazy. Yes, they are. They just sit there. Big fatties. Yeah, there's real no smell to this one. No? No. Oh, put it down. <coughs> the, but it's covered in like in, in a thin a gelatin. Goopy gelatin? Yeah. How easy are these to come by, sir? Uh, it took come. me a little bit to get them all sourced, but yeah? it wasn't too hard. You just go to what, a meat place? Called some farms and uh, some meat packers. Like fun meat packers. <laughs> they had them on the bridge of their nose. Yeah. <laughs> Jesus. And those are? Lamb. Those are lamb. Little lamb balls. Aww. Oh. Did Mary give them to you? Mary had a little lamb. Its balls were in her mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and when she cut its little balls off, the lamb let me, what the fuck, Mary? So we had a whole thing here. I thought we were friends. <laughs> oh, and then, of course, wow, those have to be duck balls, I would gather, right? What do those smell like? You're actually making a uh, th this is odd the, uh, face. This is the cooked uh, lamb? Ah, oh, duck yeah, balls. It, it's Sounds like good advice. <laughs> it <it's>, uh, <laughs> smells like dog <laughs> Uh, now that is duck balls. Those are duck balls. Are duck Looks like beans. Louis beans. <laughs> <laughs> Louis balls. Uh, yeah. Oh, God damn it. Ugh. I don't want to look at that as bird balls. Look like fava beans. <laughs> yeah, I'm balls. eating tuna fish, by the way, because I have to eat now. Yeah, before it really gets, uh, now. before we really get engrossed in These this. These are the worst smelling ones. Really? Yeah. Well, yeah, that's like... Because it's right by their asshole, and it's always mushed down in the water. <laughs> Duck balls and asshole are so close together. Do you think that the, the balls actually soak up the the smell from the duck's ass? And... It smells like duck shit. <laughs> <laughs> They're always pissing and shitting and swimming right through with their little balls. <laughs> uh, so now, you, from what I've seen, this prepared menu, you've uh, cooked these in some, uh, I guess, ways you would traditionally cook what? I uh, tried to keep it along the same lines of something that, like, the veal, I cooked Marsala style. Like it would be veal Marsala. Right. I tried not to go too crazy. I took uh, the beef ones and kind of butterflied them out and did a German-style schnitzel with ah. some spatzel and a vinegar sauce. And spatzel. The, uh, schnitzel. The duck ones we did with some pasta and some fava beans and asparagus, and we're going to put some truffle on there, too, which is a nice kind of luxury ingredient. And... Uh, the lamb ones, we just kind of sautéed them real quick with a garlic sauce over some risotto. Yeah, nothing too complicated. Now, would would uh, would you think this this would taste good? They don't taste bad. Yeah, did you taste it? Of course, <sighs> I cooked it. I yeah, yeah, it. I, I know. I, but the thing is, like, I, I I can't get over. I guess I'm very squeamish when it comes to a uh, uh, food. Let me rephrase. I cooked the ones that I made. Restaurant style. I did not eat the ones that, you just that I just boiled. threw in water and boiled. Threw in yeah. water and boiled. Yeah. Oh, God. Okay. Um, well, uh, e -Rock, you're going to partake in, in this. So is anybody else going to eat uh, yes. um, we some, are, some balls? We are putting together uh, an intern challenge. Love Buzz is the executive intern, as we've established. Uh -huh. However, uh, he has not been living up to the responsibilities of one. Oh! We haven't heard anything from him lately. We really haven't. He hasn't been a good representative. So uh, Danny and me were discussing this, and we figured that we should see which intern can uh, maybe consume an entire testicle without uh -huh. spitting it out or throwing it up, and the intern that accomplishes this the best should get the title of executive intern. All right. So I think it should be an intern ball. So tasting. now... And they're all willing to do it. it. So something's on the line here. Executive internship. Wow. And that is a very important... <laughs> <laughs> Uh, where are the interns that are going to be uh, partaking? They should be uh, ready to go, I would, I would I'm think. I'm sure they're not, not working. Not right here, Iraq, by the garbage. By me. We gotta, oh, God. Vomit right by a sweet boy? Yeah, make them have to spin around <laughs> There's vomit love. on you. Love well, Buzz. Now, yes. uh, you are the executive intern. Yeah, I'm not losing my title. Oh. oh well. no. Smack talk, first thing on the mic. Very the, smack that's talk. right. The title is Most Hideous Shirt Owner. <laughs> that's you a, are hands down the winner. the X-Men. What's that? It's Gambit from the X-Men. You don't like it? I think it's a very cool design. Oh, he's, he's telling you off. It's an atrocious shirt. It I, like I don't it. know why he's dressed like Butthead. <laughs> oh, uh, shit. Wow, you really do look like, like Butthead. Uh, now, you are the executive intern. Yeah. What does that entail? What that, duties does the executive intern have that the other interns don't have? Steve gives me an order, and I tell the interns what Steve said, and they do yes. it. Yes. 
the exact... Buffalo wings, <laughs> pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so and I sometimes make myself look more important than I really am. The executive intern gets to delegate. Oh, yeah. so you can tell them, hey, right. why don't you do this? You go here, do yeah. this. I've, been, I've given them orders. Now, before. wouldn't wouldn't you feel bad if somebody else was the executive intern? And I'm not you, losing. That's the thing. Well, and let's just hypothetically say, would would that make you feel bad to now have to listen to one of your subordinates? Oh, shit. Yeah, that would be pretty bad. I guess. Well, these guys um, look like stiff competition, especially that guy. He looks like a lead about anything. Uh, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Yankee yeah. fan. Step up to the mic there. What's your name? I have no idea. Joe. Joe. Have we met? Uh, no. Yes, you have communicated with him before. Oh, really? The, the Twitter thing, yeah. Last Remember month. the intern that you said? Yeah. If you're going for an interview for oh, an internship. Oh, he's the guy? That's him. Ah, uh, yeah, I had a little problem because he was a little too over-eager to be an intern. Now, that's a good thing if uh, you're, you're eager to come here and, and, and be an intern. But then to just get, get on Twitter and say, hey, here's what's happening tonight. I'm going to be interviewing with Opie and Anthony's show. for And tag you on it. Yeah, I was kind of like, oh, boy, this guy might be a problem. One of those internet fucking little chatty Cathy's, you know? You yeah, know what no. I was talking about? You, you can understand the concern, though. Oh, of course. Because yeah, there are so, that. certain things that go on in here that are said or seen that we probably don't want out there. Right, right. You yeah, know, I'm done with that. Jimmy's mouth on my penis. <laughs> well, that I would like you to Twitter. <laughs> I certainly would. Yeah. It's about time people know. It is right now, if you could hear Jimmy's voice. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> He's talking. It tastes like tuna fish, which is better than Anthony's cock usually tastes. <laughs> usually tastes like shit <laughs> and diaper. <laughs> She's, hey, you got it. <laughs> so, uh, have you ever had anything like this? Uh, no, not at all. I tend no? to stay away from things like this. Yeah. I, I even chop off like the, the fat on a steak. Okay, so yeah, what, what do you do? Glue it to your belly? <laughs> <Aww>. <laughs> not quite. He just goes right at the garbage bin. Yeah, but, yeah. Man, really? <laughs> he had to reiterate that no, he indeed does throw it away. <laughs> uh, are you squeamish with with food? I guess you are. Uh, then, yeah, slightly, yeah. <laughs> Oh, what a dick. I know, that was a real dick thing to say. I'm sorry, sir. I actually, it's until okay. just now, I thought you two were the same person. I had no idea that they were different. What, like the evil one? He yeah. turns into the evil one with the little Van Dyke? Yeah, like when you think you're something, one's on one shoulder, one's on the other shoulder, yes. and the person is crushed to the ground. <laughs> with two fat guys on his shoulders. <laughs> Oh, God. Boy, he's not cutting you any slack, is he? <laughs> uh, so uh, do you have a, any kind of problem? Are you thinking about this and going like, ugh? I, uh, of course, yeah. yeah. I, I took a couple minutes to think it over. Yeah. And, um, he recommended mm. that it doesn't taste too bad. So I was like, all right. I'll all right. I guess he... Uh, all right, Joe. Uh, Rich, uh, Rich, for those of you listening to us giggling, Rich just tripped over a mic stand. You know what's so funny? So, of course, we're laughing at him. Yeah, You're like that was a good trip. You should be careful if you're going to fall. It was like... funny the past ten minutes you haven't been in here. I'm sorry. Uh, <laughs> sorry, Rich. What was funny? What was that? I, uh, I was doing another back. radio interview. I'm sorry. I, uh... Oh, were you? Yes, I was. Okay. Chaz and AJ in Connecticut. How'd that work out? <laughs> Oh, Chaz from uh, used to do PLR. I did guess. he? Yeah, I, I did his show a few times. Oh, oh New York? York? Back in the early, early, early days. Chaz, what, New York? Louis early Beans. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In New York City? Uh, no, he was in uh, Connecticut. And you did it? Well, what do you mean you did it? Like uh, me you... and Joe went on there, did our little song parodies and shit for well, his you show. You don't like going doing radio stuff, doing songs and stuff yeah. like the garage band radio that, guy? That was us. Get out of going here. Going around just but, trying anything to get out of uh, doing uh, sheet metal work. But who would book you on these? How would you get on them? Like? My brother. My brother was the uh, go-getter. He'd be the guy that would call up radio stations and uh, be like, yeah, yeah, I got this. Or, or he'd send in song parodies and they would play them and then uh, my brother would follow through with a phone call who would, and go, yeah. who would believe that you would go from that to frying testicles i know isn't that <laughs> Jesus, amazing it's unbelievable the sending cassette tapes in and uh, now all just basking in the glory now, now of you, talking to interns and uh, eating balls now you got this evolution of i can't get laid poster in front of you okay <laughs> yes it's just the, one horribleness after another okay <laughs> look at them look they just grow bigger and bigger as you look at them. they look like the evolution of fat
<laughs> now that isn't very nice. Uh, shut up, their Joe interns will be like... gone in a fucking week. I know. Don't remember them. Well, I'm not the... the fat one of the group. I'm only oh, hey, 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 hey. Oh. Like sticking up. You have himself. those lips where a fat guy will ram his penis in. Look at those <laughs> goddamn these are juicy lips. Eating lips. No, they're oh, not. Yeah, yeah, so. yeah. yeah. <laughs> don't, don't, don't speak. Man. You don't have to hold a debate with this gentleman. It's okay. Uh, so now, uh, all right, Love Buzz, Joe, and now uh, the third uh, gentleman here. What's what's your name, sir? Oscar. Oscar. Oscar, Oscar, Oscar. And uh, how long have you been here? I... About a month now. Really? Month, yeah. Have we had any interaction whatsoever? Um, not a recall. No? no, no recall. It's just kind of a take yeah, it easy like, at the hey, end of the day kind of a thing? Yeah. Are you, right. a, uh, are you like uh, from another country or yeah, something? Yeah, um, originally from Colombia. Did I sponsor you as a kid? <laughs> <laughs> Did I send like a quarter a month? No, I didn't. 27 cents with a salad bar? No, no. You, you actually came <laughs> from Colombia. No, well, no. Well, probably 15, 20 years ago. Oh you would think uh, well, he would have lost the accent a little. Uh, Doesn't he sound like he's fucking like... I didn't know what it was. I couldn't oh, figure I it out. It I thought it was Colombian. an impediment. I thought it was a speech impediment. No, that's me. Yeah. I know he was Colombian. You did? Oh, yeah. What the fuck? Uh, yeah. what, now, what, what, made you, uh, what made you leave? <laughs> <laughs> they blew up his block. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's, well, that's not really the case where I live. But, uh, yeah. No, that's not really you the know, case. You know, we, no, we do just... have kind of this preconceived notion of Colombia that it's nothing but drug cartels and cocaine and gunfights. No, that's not, that's not really true, man. I mean, Colombia we... neckties, people giving Colombia neckties all the time. That's where they slit the throat. And then they reach in, take the tongue, and pull it out of where they slit the throat. Oh, it's called a Colombian necktie. They dude. blew up city blocks. In oh Columbia. yeah, yeah. Courthouses. I Columbia mean, I'm sure great. it's not. You know, I'm sure it's a beautiful place to visit. You know, it, yeah, yeah, yeah it's, it's it's not like that anymore, man. It's just a great place to go, and you know, you've done numerous things to do. And besides, uh, numerous I mean, things to do. I went on a cruise once, and uh, one of the ports was in Colombia, and uh, we stopped, got off the ship. I must have went. 20 feet from the ship and uh, was pretty much told best just stay here really? and in the little they have one little bar area a oh. little beach area and, and that, that was it how long ago was that that uh Oh, two weeks. What are you fucking? Th what are you, is that an insult? No, no, back, no. In the, back in the thirties, motherfucker. What do you no, think? I didn't, mean it, I didn't mean it that way. Though, before the I mean, coup. I'm surprised though, because I mean, I, 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 a couple of years ago. Oh, okay. how horrible David Spade's hat is. It was because they, <laughs> you don't like David Spade's hat. Jesus, because all they've been doing is talking. Look, we're we're kind of uh, changing gears here for a second. So you uh, you hold on. Okay. Uh, they're showing the grown-up stars. They're stopping by Fox uh, News. And David Spade now is taken to wearing uh, a Ricky uh, Ricardo type Cuban hat. A, a hat that he would see in his country before it was blown off yes, of somebody's head. Columbia. That is some. <laughs> that really is an awful hat. Is but that, there is rumor. There are rumors that he he wears a wig. Yeah. That he wears a wig. So now I guess he's wearing this hat, so no one could. Uh, all three of those guys from. at one point, all three of them opened for me. I'm not lying. That's how bad my career has. Wow. Been. Is that in New York or L.A.? Are they in New, New York? York? They're right, they're right, the they're right, they're right across the street in the next building. Oh, they are? Yeah. So why don't you go over there and suck their dick? <laughs> Again? <laughs> that, uh, it's amazing. Adam is in New York doing press, and we can't get him on this show. Oh, yeah, Chris Rock and David Spade, too. I know. Yeah. Why, why, right why, across we, the street. They're just trying to plug a movie that we've done nothing but shit on. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> why? Know, have you seen it? No, but uh, I've seen the trailer, and uh, I don't, it just doesn't look good. And they they are doing well, more speaking press. of tra trailers, does your family still live in Columbia or No, 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 I have uh... <laughs> Why? No, nothing like that, man. I are mean, you it's... Colombian? Yeah, yeah. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so uh, uh so why are you what... gay? Is he gay? Are you come on, the way you're wow. standing are you gay? I'm not gay at all. Look how at you're... how you're standing, you're very feminine. Are you not you never even thought about it? Have you no. you never even experimented a little no. with an older headliner? I'm not doing my shirt. Yeah, oh! it's, 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 I'm not the one wearing a, a fucking guy, a superhero he's, shirt either. He's got a comeback oh, for everything. This isn't tight. It's this is, your shirt. Yeah, it's because I look good shit. at my age. Jesus Christ, running this kid from I know, he got, he got, well, he's going to eat him in a second. Yeah. 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 <laughs> he's going to eat his own, huh? <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Hey, what no, about the other intern? How come he doesn't want to participate? Oh, we I talked to Joe a little bit. Oh, shit. Which other? Which uh, the fucking. 
Get Mexican. him in here. He just got called out by Love, Love Buzz. Very rambunctious. Yeah, Love Buzz doesn't take you any are, guff. Yeah, you I think he's really trying something are. new because he knows he's a dead fast kind of guy. Do you want me to call Chris Hi, and get sir. him in? You guys want Chris? I'll just step up Caesar. to a microphone. Caesar. Oh, no, guys. How Hi. are you, sir? Great. You don't want to participate in the uh, ball eating? No way. He doesn't want his parole Why officer to know he's. <laughs> Jesus. Uh, why, why don't disgusting. you want to? It's because it's disgusting. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. That's the whole gist of it. That's though. kind of the beauty of it. Do you yeah. find it? E I don't think that's beautiful. <laughs> do, you find it, do you find it easier as a uh, light skinned black guy that you have a little skinned advantage it. over? Light skinned. <laughs> light skinned. I'm trying, to, I'm trying to talk. I'm trying to, you know, yeah, for I'm trying to relate. Life, you've been trying <laughs> to talk and failing miserably. Uh, I'm, I, I, okay, I relate to the uh, to the Afro Americans. What are, I'm you, saying, are you Afro are you black or are you mixed, Caesar? Mixed. What do you, what oh, do you, you mix are? with? Puerto Rican and black. Puerto Rican and black. Oh, Happen shit. Yeah. Two, two strikes. Uh, <laughs> you know, I wasn't even going to bring race into this. I just well, thought we'd bring him in and find out why a Love Buzz called him a pussy for not wanting to eat balls. That's right. Well, because you know what it is. What I'm saying Let's, is you don't just <laughs> attack a brother like that. Look at this guy. You know what? I think he wants yeah. to suck your dick. What? <laughs> what? He's and saying. I, wow. What is this? This I isn't the intern show. <laughs> that joke show had a fuse on it. Oh, look who's here. Jesus. Oh, look who's here. Colin Quinn, ladies oh, and gentlemen. Skinny. Colin, like hello. Awesome. Yeah, look at you all skinny. All I know. svelte. Oh, How are Jesus. you, Colin? Good. Good. We're doing a thing where we're having, uh, they're going to eat cooked testicles. Yeah, they're yeah. eating balls. A staple of, uh, uh, of shock radio. Yeah. Like testicles? Not cow balls. Cow balls are, cows are female. What would yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Bulls, That'd bulls? Meatpacking district cows. Yeah. <laughs> Hi, Daddy. Sure, like, Moo. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Moo, Daddy. There's a, there's a blonde wig on a black eating, ball. <laughs> is the idea for them to eat bulls, bulls? Yeah, just eat balls. Hey, it's you know, funny. What is that? The plot of City Slickers. Three, right. you, fucking <laughs> hey, you know what? You it's know what? The tamest shit I've ever heard. Curly it's 2010. Even I know it's old. Col hat. I know. I know. It is old hat. Collins in that fucking movie. Let's see. You got one of the guys from the movie. He's in it. Yeah. yeah. Uh, you know, it's funny. Yeah. That yeah, you, so what you, how come we can't like, get fucking Chris or Adam over here? Well, you got like Colin. You got the cameo yeah, it's guy. He's disgusted. I'm like, I have yeah. a big part. Do you? I'm the bad guy. You're the bad guy? Yeah. How can we not get to where's the, We can't get Bigger Chris or Adam. Bigger than the Crocodile Dundee King's part? called got guys? me. I know that, but we... That's, you oh. guys got me? We oh. figure if we get you, then it should be easy to get them. I mean, we no, get the but best. Yeah, but you got me. Yeah, no, I know. Why do you want Chris or Adam? You got me? Yeah. yeah we, got the, we got the driver. What's the difference? <laughs> oh, got the driver. <laughs> You want to uh, take a seat there, Colin? Right. No, I kind of like this angle, actually. Yeah, <laughs> thanks. Get me. I'll sit there. Did you it. just get up? I'll be honest with you. Yeah. I, I, here's how horrible it was. I went to... <laughs> It doesn't matter. This is the toughest group of fucking interns I ever seen. I know. They look like a gang. It's yeah. like a gang in here. Yeah, the fucking... Like a bunch of badasses, these kids. Yeah. <laughs> well, he's from Colombia. Yeah. Yeah, he's, is... he's the Colombian one. I never found out why did... Why uh, you make a face like, like that when I said Colombia? Yeah, he makes a face. I don't mm. like Colombia. Do any of you guys know who Colin is? Why do you get that look on your face when I said Colombian? <laughs> Tony. <laughs> Tony. Don't fuck with me, Tony. Uh, why, why did you leave? <laughs> oh, just, I had to have, have my family live there, have here, and then they were like, hey, you want to come over? You know, schools are great, and, you know, it's just it's a great you opportunity. You get another yeah. space cadet to work here, Chico. <laughs> I don't listen to this fucking dishwasher. Wait, is, I don't know is, fucking dishwasher. Is my accent really noticeable, is it? No. No. <laughs> so how old are you? I'm 25. You're 25. Mm -hmm. You've moved uh, when you were 10, I guess? Uh, yeah, yeah, 10. Two, so from the time two. you're 10 years old till now, yeah. you still have an accent. I know. Of course, because he moved to Jackson Heights. <laughs> no, no, I'm, I'm from Jersey. I'm uh, uh, Look Morristown. at him. He's got that old face. He's got that disease. That, what? You know, mm -hmm. know, when you get older quick, uh, pancreas or something, whatever it's called. We will we'll never know if you have that disease. When we met you, you were old. <laughs> <laughs> pancreas. 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 Posters all over the place. Rich voice appearing here since 1983. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, all right. Have you yeah. gone a month without being what, in who, Norris huh? Huh? <laughs> You guys, you guys are, are going to be eating. You're not participating. You're just going to. Wow. Come on, they're going to the fry. Why not? Oh, Rich. It's always got to go that that direction, Rich. Yeah, you don't you don't want to uh, deal fear with that. Fear factor. What are you? Fifty fear factors been off since you were five. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, 
<laughs> yeah, you What's just that? don't want to. Any response to that? Still on? I leave a re <laughs> listen. Remote controls talking right now. <laughs> <laughs> it was a show I was on in the eighties, boys. <laughs> 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 the internet had no clue. Jesus. Jesus. What the fuck is talking about? Why do you just bring in fucking Stephen Eady? <laughs> <laughs> and again, they look like who? We have no idea what you're talking about. I don't about. even know who he's talking about. I know. Stephen Eady was like the Rich and Bonnie of the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> no, <laughs> no, they got along. <laughs> do you guys fight a lot? Do we fight a lot? Oh. Uh -huh. What do you think happens? What do you think happens? Do you understand? This was a little girl who dreamed like every other little girl in a fucking farm in Canada of meeting, marrying a prince. Yeah. How do you think she fucking feels every day when she wakes up? She should have married you. She would have married a queen. <laughs> nothing. I got, well, she, she, she I, did. I got so excited about that one, too. If I was too. gay, it would be funny. I know, but what the fuck? What Bonnie did marry a prince. She married a Prince Albert, a fucking a, a, a hook through a cockhead. <laughs> I enjoyed it. <laughs> well, you saved me. <laughs> I was like, well, why isn't he doing the chip voice? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> chip! Chip is yeah. I wouldn't even go near that one. Yeah. <laughs> All right, Chip. Yeah, right. Stay away. Toxic. <laughs> is there a theme uh, to this ball eating thing? Is it's Colin was right, thing. hack. It, it, is it but just it like... But it is kind of good to get... It's supposed to give you a good heart on, right? Do you is it? Balls? I don't know. I heard that. Yeah, I was trying to... I don't know. I heard that. Uh, yeah, because uh, is, is it like a month? Is there a... Is this like a National Testicle Month or something? Shut up. What are you, what are you, what are you chatting doing about? on the air? It's E-Rock. Yeah. He just what a snitch. I'm trying to look out for you. Yeah, by blaming me. Whoa. Oh. I, I asked for a coffee to wake me oh. up. What the hell? Oh. Why'd you kick out the Dominican? He went <laughs> the Dominican. Yeah. He's black and um, Puerto Rican. And Puerto Rican. No, he could. That's he Dominican. Could he, could, he could go. <coughs> <laughs> I think Steve's trying to get him back into the uh, yeah. studio. He could. Yeah. He, you could just let him go. Yeah. You can go. To order something off him. I pardon you. <laughs> All right, so you guys are going to be participating in this um, eating uh, uh, wonderfully cooked uh, testicles. I don't really see the point in this, but well, no, well, how did this come the, about? How did this come about? Yes, it's good well, for your. It's good for your erection. They're erection. not going to eat the wonderfully cooked ones. They're going to eat the boiled ones. They're not wonderful. But who's like eating the one Sam's trying one. to throw an audible now to make his dumb idea work? Well, uh, oh, it was never about the fried balls. Only no, both of them. I, this wasn't my. It was you and Scorch. <laughs> it's an idea for Scorch. fucking. It's an upstate New York idea. And, uh, we're doing a technical day. Technical day yeah. here on Scorch Show. Totally nude radio. Show your balls would, by eating balls. He yeah. say balls are testicle though. That's too dirty for him. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. call him your hoo ha day or something. Oh, yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna be eating some yeah. gonads. Go, 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 yeah. go, 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 go. Uh, yeah, I want accountability right now. Steve is is. I want accountability. I'm, I'm, EP. Where did this right. idea? Because as as I'm going along with this, I'm thinking, it is 2010. We could punch up in two seconds a gentleman being disemboweled by a horse cock. That's right. <laughs> How shocking is it sure to have some young boys eating stuff you could actually buy that is FDA approved? <laughs> I, I, I don't. No. I, from, I just asked Eric what. What prompted this? And he oh, reminded you see him me. Throw that... Eric under the bus. No, just not, I swear. That's not, <laughs> yeah, but no, he said. He threw that's Eric not even... under the Steve. Yeah. <laughs> Give me some of the fucking. Well, he's a bus. Right no. He <laughs> said um, bus, not dud. <laughs> I, 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 the boss didn't get that one. I wasn't paying attention. And Steve is kind of, of big, so they're saying he's a bus. Yeah, see? <laughs> so, uh, Steve. I think, I think this was Ope's idea months ago. Oh, oh months ago. wow. But it took us. Opie under the bus. Wow, Steve is throwing <laughs> Opie under and, the bus. But it took us so long no, to actually... I am to come in and play the fucking hater on this thing. <laughs> <laughs> I know, when usually it, you're the one... So, so it took us so long to actually find the places that sold about different really kinds really of testicles. Yeah, because nobody actually sold varieties. I think uh, our chef friend had to go to how many different places? Like four different places. Quite yeah, to Whoa, find geez. the places to find these actual things. So it took us. Uh, yeah, I know. Kind of hard on just. But talking aren't about they good for your hard on? Short, short. Yeah, they're supposed to. You know. Anyway, that's an old I wives' tale. I wanted to try. I think the point is yeah. just to watch the interns I know puke. The, yeah, I think that was really it. But, but the thing is, it's like I don't know if they will. 
Yeah, I don't know the restaurant style. I don't understand because they probably won't. Yeah, so and and, and he's now, in South America. Why? He no, he's probably, all the time. He's why? Probably, he's, probably, he's probably eating fucking Giselle. Yeah, or something. exactly. He, Giselle. Wait, <laughs> wait. Hold the phone. Yeah, a Giselle. 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 <laughs> Giselle. I meant the, the, uh, the model. I don't model. care what you meant. <laughs> but I meant the model. It really oh, my <laughs> God. It's Giselle. A Giselle. Ah. Wow. You That's really great. are stop I mean, Really. <laughs> <laughs> that was a good one. Now, uh, why the cooked, Steve? Why do we have cooked testicles if they are delicious? Which I would assume uh, we know our, our, our chef gentleman is very talented at what mm -hmm. he does. Uh why the cooked testicles? Because we already did boiled meat barbecue, so this was the twist, I, I assume, was to say, can you make balls taste non-puke-worthy? I guess. I don't really know. I don't really know I'm why. Not, yeah, I'm not really I getting this. I don't really understand. It, it was There was so much work that went into finding the actual testicles that by the way, time that we, we got realized, them. Yeah, like, like late, that... that <sighs> But shouldn't you guys be doing this on Wacky Wednesday? Why, why are you doing this on Friday? <laughs> I know. It's, wait, wait, I gotta get this one too. <laughs> hey, ball eating Friday, everybody! We're gonna be eating balls today. This like, is fantastic. <laughs> like it was sort of, it was sort of a given that that, that they would vomit up. Uh, uh -huh. Boiled nuts. Could they actually hold down nuts if they were prepared? Ah. Restaurant style. Oh, okay, that's different. Okay. That makes sense now. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I can't believe you're fucking up free flowing Friday for this. Free form <laughs> flowing ball eating Friday. Yeah. Oh, wait, we got to have a ball eating, ball uh, eating. I like when it says it's somewhere it started as an idea from, from Sam. Yeah. Yeah, I would think Sam was probably Again, responsible for. Um, was it my? I think this came as a derivative of all the other gross uh, foods we were eating. Food. Everyone's eating trying to, thing. Everyone always tries to leave out the one person in the herd, like the Giselle in the herd. Giselle, <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Poor Giselle being chased by a gackle. <laughs> Dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Stupid. It's a young gackle that looks old. It's a per Jerry gackle. <laughs> per Jerry. <laughs> Nobody uh, knows that word. Progeria? Everyone knows that. No yeah. one knows that. Yes. Sorry. Progeria? I got to go with Jimmy on this one. Yeah, no, that's a progeria. fucking tough one. <laughs> Is it? That's not a, that. That's that's a fucking game show question right there. Look at all the words that you've mispronounced that we have on the wall. I think that's exaggerated. That is every word that Rich has mispronounced. That's great. Go and take a look, Colin. Maybe read off a couple. We should well, add let us remember. Yeah. No, that's stupid. <laughs> there will be some addition. <laughs> Colin's, Colin's not... Ashwitz. <laughs> Ashwitz. Yes. Ashwitz, that horrible uh, place with a, a concentration camp. Uh, uh, Almond Brothers. Um, yeah, the, the Almond Brothers band. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Colin can't even say it. Altar top. <laughs> yeah, I almost fucked that up on stage every now and then. An altar top? <laughs> Women wear altar tops. <laughs> Angela Jolie. Angela Jolie, I remember that one. <laughs> Archie Buncher. <laughs> what, what, oh, Archie this, Buncher. Yeah, the character in All in the Family. Archie Buncher. <laughs> oh, get rich. Just the idea of this list is the funniest thing ever. <laughs> I know. That there is a list, and it's that long. And there's new words to add to it yes. now. Yes. We've been shirking our responsibility. Uh, Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah, enjoy that at your leisure, uh, Colin. Bangladesh. Bangla Bangladesh. I remember that one. Uh, well, I guess we'll get the testicle eating underway. Maybe we'll take a break, and then when we come back, I'm not kidding, people. <laughs> Interns eating testicles <laughs> on Testicle Eating Friday. We'll be right back. The Obi and Anthony Show on the virus. On the virus. Serious XM. I'm going back to Brooklyn. 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 I'm going back to Brooklyn. I don't think so. I'm going back to Brooklyn. 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 I'm going back to Brooklyn. Man, I don't think so. I'm going back to Brooklyn. Crying. Denying. Shying. Blow drying. Trying to fit in. Go 
going back home. Coming back a hero where the girls look like Madonna and the guys sound like De Niro. The top is down on that guy's T bird and he's yeah. listening to the latest. Kicking it, right? This rocks. It's Colin Quinn. I remember that. That was on MTV. That was my voice is clear. Uh, how about your voice being clear on the microphone? <laughs> Hi guys. <laughs> I put this shit on. So much out of show business. The, oh man. So, yeah, I remember seeing this though. It was very good. You were driving, right? Yeah. You're in the car. It was like a parody of the LL Cool J. Right, video. right. His was about Cali. Mine was about Brooklyn. <laughs> yes. That's why Anthony's so into this because he was a parody guy too back in the See? day. See, that's right. See, Me and parody. Colin uh, share our uh, uh, roots in comedy, uh, in the comedy of parody. That's yes, right. yes. <laughs> Me, Me, Anthony, and Weird Al. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, did I luck out? Didn't I? <laughs> oh Jesus! Didn't I just fucking hit the lottery? Fucking parodies. <laughs> Stupid. Fucking low budget Joe Bond. It was. Uh, <laughs> Joe Bond? Paul Bond. <laughs> no, I'm talking yeah. about Joe. Budget James Bond. I'm talking, ah. I'm talking about Joe Bond from Idaho. He plays so no, Is that it? <laughs> yes. What, are you opening for him? <laughs> Whoa, got me there with the opener joke. Oh, <laughs> hold on. We're here on Wacky Wednesday, but it's Friday. Uh, and he got hey. me with the opener. <laughs> hey, you're on this show. <laughs> You're a guest. Yeah, I'm a guest. But the difference is, I can leave and say I can leave and save face any fucking time. All right, well, stuck here doing your contest. What do they win, huh? What do they win, Anthony? Well, <laughs> let me tell you, Rich. <laughs> They're going to win the opportunity like to be the, the top dog amongst the interns. <laughs> This is fantastic. I can't believe you guys are doing so with interns. No one ever has. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I invented that, uh, doing things with interns, Robin. <laughs> I don't like the fact that voice is kind of going off, and it's kind of, it's funny, like attacking like you. Like, it's going true, off, I know. But his volume can't go up even a little bit on his voice. Yeah. Why, what do you mean, I'm supposed to yell? Yes, this is a guy who's talking about. This is a guy who's talking about speech. Who mumbled through two seasons of Tough Crowd? Go fuck yourself. Okay, so we stand up or sit down while we're doing this. Oh, so you guys <laughs> blame me? Oh, I was going to blame me for that show getting canceled. <laughs> Jesus, cut the guy some slack. Yeah, why don't you some shows? Slack. What's he, that? At least he's had some fucking show and where it was he just, was. It's a, it's a, I'll get another one. It's only been five and a half years since Tough Crowd went off the air. Are you oh. kidding me? It's been that long. Yes. I mean, I a years. whole audience in Buffalo chased him down the street. It was Not no like... Wanda. <laughs> yeah, they, they wanted to get on their wings back. They thought he was taking on a Buffalo wing. Oh, Chip! <laughs> Chip, because it's in Buffalo. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I, called, I called a club in Boston. They go, we're not using New York comics for a while. I go, why? They go, Colin. <laughs> <laughs> Ruined it. <laughs> wow. In the Boss 80s. is really ripping everybody apart. Boss has really had it today. Yeah. <laughs> he ruined it for <laughs> the tri state area comics. Yeah. But he's a genius. He, you, you, he'll always come back. He's like a sore. I hate like, when you shift gears and try. Yeah. And, <laughs> I hate when you're going one direction and then you try to get serious and wax poetic. When, when, when does the part Shut happen up. where you save face? Just trash him. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> well, yeah. ah, it's like a fact. And while you you're saving it, get again. back to the horse when you're done fusing it. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> Come on. Yeah. You give me shit. Did Jack, yeah. did Jack hey. Waltz hurt your ears when he woke up and saw you and yelled? <laughs> don't get nervous. Don't get nervous. With my party. I don't know who wrote the best horse joke. It was a writer. It was in a magazine. Obviously, I'm quoting this. Yeah. Uh, who read it to you? I'm, I'm misquoting. I'm misquoting this. <laughs> Let me misquote. Listen. Listen and this. I misquote. A horse walks into the bar, and the bartender says, "Why such a long face?" And the horse says, I just found out I have AIDS. <laughs> That's a good joke. That's pretty funny. That's a damn good joke. <laughs> that is good. I don't know who wrote it. Some writer. <laughs> I think Carlos Mencia. <laughs> oh, no. Of course, we all know he wrote nothing. <laughs> how, how is that going with the uh, comics? You heard about that, Colin, right? What happened now? Like Carlos Mencia uh, pretty much admitted that he steals oh, in that movie? material. Yeah. I saw the movie. What do you Did? think? Yeah. It was a spoof that he was saying that in the you movie. You think he was being sarcastic? He was being sarcastic. Because he's yeah. been accused so many times that he figured he'd just go, yeah, yeah I steal yeah. everything. Yeah, yeah. yeah I, being, I yeah. said that in a scene I saw that. Probably edited yeah. that kind yeah. of shitty. Hmm. All right. Just wanted to get. Did you see the movie? What movie? I Am Comic. Oh, I said it was on movie? Showtime. I haven't seen it, but. 
How, how would you not see that? You are comic. We were in it. We got, we got <laughs> fucking edited out. Did Who you? Does? Uh, me and the skirt, Bonnie. Were, uh, you weren't skirt? in it. No, you got edited out. She happened to be a fucking victim of it because she was. <laughs> they couldn't cut around you. <laughs> That's it. Or, or no, we didn't do it together. We're not fucking just Stiller and Mira. Oh, yeah. Yeah. In Java <laughs> Hut or something like that. Her autobiography is going to be called. <laughs> her autobiography is going to be called. I was collateral damage. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, really? You got the clip? She uh, looks, yeah. she watches, I guarantee she watches like Patton Oswalt and go, he wanted to fuck me. I could have married this little worm in two minutes. This other nerd <laughs> came out. All these like big, like elite little stars. Yeah. I want to hear the, uh, the Carlos Mencia clip and uh, get Colin's opinion on this one. If you think Can this I is what's being taken. Show it to him. Uh, fuck seeing it. You just got to hear him. Exactly. I have a, it's I have radio. a hard time tell, telling when Guatemalans are being sarcastic. <laughs> 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 Let's uh, listen to a little uh, Carlos Mencia. A lot of people out there are going to ask, why did they interview Carlos about this? You know, Carlos is a joke thief. Carlos steals jokes, and we know this. And I, I, listen to me, and look at me when I tell you this, with all honesty. If you think that I steal jokes, fuck yeah, you're right. Of course I fucking steal jokes. Are you out of your fucking mind? When I come to a comedy club, you better run, bitch. You better get the fuck off stage. Because if anything you say is even remotely funny, I'm going to make it mine. And all I'm going to do is say Mexican in the front. I'm like a rapper. I just sample shit and make it my own. Was that really my song? I don't know, but it sounds like mine, but it kind of sounds like somebody else's. It's a hit, bitch! Wow. Now, you could say that's sarcasm, but <laughs> you could also say it's a little too detailed for just sarcasm. Like, he's thought, the, he's thought about that. The walk was that into Carlos? the club. Was yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> was that right. Carlos or Jay Moore? Who was that? Oh, oh <laughs> damn. Whoa. <laughs> yes. Tell us how you really feel, Rich. <laughs> oh, Chip. Oh, <laughs> uh, Chippy. Uh, you know, well, I saw the, the thing. Yeah. But how well he's trying to turn it around and make it look like, you know, it's bullshit. I don't steal. But it's so it's much. Like, it doesn't like, come off like that. No, yeah. it comes off like it's very, like he's thought about this. Right. It's detailed. Like, yeah, I, I steal material. Fuck you. It's like a guy going, it's like a serial killer going, yeah, you know, I mean, people tell us that I walk into a house, the family's asleep. Yeah, I exactly. walk up the carpeted steps. <laughs> I pull out the knife. I slowly run it across their throats. Yeah, it's just, it's a little too detailed <laughs> you have to be just sarcasm. Then, That's right. Then Truman Capote interviews me. It's like Manhunter. Very good. You Why do you up? have to try He's to sound smart? That was smart. <laughs> All right, it was quite smart. Truman Manhunter. Capote. Uh... I'll have the Truman compote. <laughs> no, don't. You can't mess it up. When I come up with something clever, it's just accepted. That wasn't clever. <laughs> what happened to you? Clever. Did you guys bail were, on the contest? I know. I'm, I'm hoping was, time ticks by and we go, oh, we're out of time. It was, <laughs> was, it wasn't clever. It was just so arbitrary that we didn't know what to do. <laughs> didn't know what to do with it. Just hung there. Can you please open your eyes and see yourself failing? <laughs> <laughs> I told Fuck you. him or fight him. <laughs> I, I told you I got one more comeback. <laughs> yeah. You got one more, right? Uh, oh, you, you know Jesus. what now? You know what oh. now? Now we gotta bring the interns in to, yep. to eat these things. All right, go ahead. get these fucking interns in here. Come we're, back, we're you never have left. Eat, eat the. Uh, Balls. Balls Here comes contest. The cooler Ball of balls. Contest. Who's going to be the executive intern? Who's going to that? See Who that? That's win the contest. Oh. See this? That's good. He gets the boss around the other guys. All right. Yeah, exactly. Uh, uh, Love Buzz has something up? to say. I'm keeping my title. Oh, look at this. Oh, you're saying that now. Oh, there's oh. smack. There's smack talk. Whoa. Oh, yes. <laughs> so far, none of these guys have anything to say. Wow. Oh. Joe, any last words here? before your mouth is full of balls? No, Isn't that no, crazy? No, no, no. I just said the intern's mouth is going to have balls in it. This is insanity. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Holy <laughs> shit. It's 1985. <laughs> Fucking got up for this. I know, right? Uh, <laughs> anything to say? Uh, yeah. <laughs> Woo! I don't want to work, man. It's Friday! Yeah! Tell the boss to go fuck himself today! That's what I say! Yeah, everybody! Come on! We're gonna do ball eating, guys! What do you think about that? That's crazy!
<laughs> Shit. I don't want to be hacks. I know. We fell into hackdom. Oh, well. Oh, Jesus. Well, our chef you know is opening up the container of, and get this, balls. Various <laughs> animals' testicles. It's so exciting, as a matter of fact, that uh, uh, TV's own Colin Quinn is reading a newspaper. I'm reading about the Santana oh. attempted rape. I like the way he defends it. He goes, she was forceful and willing. She was forceful. That's the way to do it. Flip the script on her. <laughs> I want to come out with, like, Rape the Musical. Listen, I... What was that thing? I <laughs> tried changing the subject uh, so Because fast. I can't sing. I wanted to do some of it. But I like uh, that fact that he goes, What was the... What was the thing you guys did well, in October with oh, with the other jocks? Jocktober? Uh, oh, Jocktober. Do you know next year someone's going to be doing <laughs> I'll be that? I'll nominate <laughs> this very program. I'll pull the tape. For a Jocktober. Jocktober. Uh, well, look at this. We have all of the various testicles. <laughs> <laughs> that really, <laughs> wow, Rich can't they take it. Good. Yes. <laughs> um, well, they're prepared two Jesus. two ways. So we have our testicles: lamb testicles, bull testicles, goose testicles, and what was the other one, sir? Uh, veal. Veal. Veal testicles. They sound good. Crazy smells, as that. It smells delicious. And well, as we know, they're delicacies yes, in many countries. Some of them are prepared uh, very uh, traditionally. And uh, uh, the other batch has just been boiled. Has to taste awful. And oh. they're balls, everybody. Come on. Come on. Uh, Give me the song. Give me the song. Give me yeah, the song. Come on, everybody. Yeah. No. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to work. I want to bang on that drum today. We're going to be eating balls, people. They look Deal. good, though. Is it is it weird looking at them not yeah. through, a, through a hole? Wait, the, <laughs> wait the musical. Yeah, Rich. <laughs> he said, "Rape the musical, Rich." He got you. Just imagine. Here's the magic. Being a young girl on a farm in northern Ontario, <laughs> Alberta, Alberta, Canada. Uh -huh. And your mother's like, I want you to go down to the States. Our family's been po we have poverty for six generations of like these kind of twisted French Canadians. I want you to go down to America and marry a Jew. <laughs> and she's like, okay, mama, I will do it. Okay, mama. <laughs> like, like she's she goes, from 1930s Poland. Yes, mama. <laughs> she goes, they're all lawyers, doctors. She goes, the worst you could do is like an accountant. And then she runs into this. Yeah, you know, defiler of the uh, of the tribe. This this twist this damaged zygote of Judaism. <laughs> this bad this my this spent uh, jizz on my mommy's leg. <laughs> she thinks she's made a score, Mama. I did what you said. I found a Jew. Good. Uh, I don't know, Miami. He doesn't seem particularly intelligent. Don't worry. <laughs> They're all smart, honey. <laughs> and they all make money, which is the important thing to get a, the McFarland family out of hock. Exactly. <laughs> when, yeah. When Bonnie was young, she goes to her mother, what's a Jew? And her mother made her watch a Woody Allen movie. That's how they explained what a Jew was. Uh, that's, that's probably a true story. It is a true exactly. story. More than funny, it's true. It is and, true. And they, yeah. and they sat there, and none of them laughed at it. Yeah. But then a few days later, they bring the point home, they watch, like, you know, the Schindler's List, and they were all cracking up. <laughs> the sorrow and the pity. <laughs> oh, goddamn. Bonnie. Poor Bonnie. Ashwitz. <laughs> Ash Ashwitz. The musical. Yeah. The mu just just put the musical behind anything, and it's do, do funny. You know what he said to me one Ball time. Ball eating the musical. Holy Jesus, Palomino people. Uh, he said lean cuisine. Yeah, <laughs> lean cuisine and tortillas. Tortillas. What's the, what's the name of Tom Brady's wife? Mrs. Brady. Something bunching. Are you talking about who? What's her first name. You talking about Giselle? Oh, <laughs> Giselle. <laughs> I was praying to take his elbow. Oh, there was a great documentary. Who was that actor that played Fredo? It's John Cazale. I saw it. Oh, shit. I'm an asshole. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Jesus. Oh, Your God acting damn. was too good. Colin. <laughs> He's never heard that. <laughs>
<laughs> Colin blurted it out. We wanted Rich to say it all funny like he does. Well, he would know who that is. Yes, I would. Everybody. He was supposed to be the next big, big star in Hollywood. Uh, in Dog Day Afternoon, he stole it when he played, uh, uh, you know. Don't help him. He played, uh, <laughs> I want to go to Wyoming or whatever, that character, guy's name, whatever, something. Yeah, well, but that character was unrealistic. Who can imagine a type of person that would think Wyoming was a country? You're sure next to him. And then Voss explained it. Yeah, you're sitting next to him. Let's get to the bull bulls. For yeah, you, come on, everybody. All right, uh, now, uh, <laughs> Love Buzz, you know, your, uh, your title is up for grabs here. Yeah. Uh, well, how does that make you feel? I'm not too nervous. Not at all. too nervous. Whoa! He's not nervous. Have you ever had balls in your mouth? Nope. Oh, it's crazy. I'm gonna just gonna balls say balls in the, the mouth. Nose. Oh. <laughs> so you're just gonna be eating balls today. <laughs> Eat your balls. <laughs> Just like mom used to make. <laughs> Chips in town. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Chip and dice, I love this. We're, we're going to have a ball. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right, Chip. <laughs> Chip is a genius. <laughs> He's opening for me. Yeah, hey, dice. dice is going to roll out on stage like you a couple of dice, you know? <laughs> Very good, Chip. Oh, oh little... all right. Uh, no, let's just fucking. Let's get, get some funny things. Nice look delicious. <laughs> let's not act that they don't. Let's not act like they don't look perfectly cooked, man. The, like... the, yeah, the the four plates Which of you testicles you? that are. All right, Talk uh, to a microphone. Yeah. You, first of all, you need a microphone. <laughs> he just holds up a ball. No, yeah. Wait a second. Secondly, we got to make this like it's got to be amazing. You're eating balls. You don't just pop them in your mouth yeah. and, and chew them. Oh, we gotta okay. be like, we gotta, uh, we gotta put across how outrageous this is. I'm gonna start with the duck. Whoa, he's gonna have a duck ball first. Why don't you pick one up now? What does it feel like in your hand? <laughs> Feels like Shame. How, I, I always wonder what a duck ball would feel like. <laughs> yeah. And I always knew it'd feel like this. Right, look, don't try to be funny. Okay. <laughs> don't put <laughs> trying to go along right. with the bit. Don't go along with the bit. Okay. Just yeah, fucking just... <laughs> put the ball in your mouth. All right. All right. That's a boiled uh, ball. No, it looks, looks like a father bean. Listen to what it. Yeah. See, not Taste. bad. It's exactly what we were going for here. Not bad. Let's cool. do him before he hey, do him before uh, he morphs into a full blown werewolf. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <That is a> <laughs> Look. You have to no. You have to rewind. Yes. I want to know what a royal wolf is. <laughs> rewind what just came out of this fucking uh, what just flew out of this uh, oat eater's mouth. Holy <laughs> shit. A royal wolf. <laughs> <laughs> he was so eager to get that out to a wire hole. It would have been a great, a great one. <laughs> Please play that, Derek. Please, I'm screaming. Do we have it? Yeah, we got it, of course. Okay, here we go. There we, and it's oh, not bad. Let's cool. do him before he a, do him before he morphs into a full blown werewolf. Werewolf. <laughs> 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 Well, you actually think he's going to put a wolf on as a coat? Well, wolf. <laughs> Stroke victim comedy. It's awful. Well, wolf. You understand? Bonnie wakes up every morning. He's already out of bed. She looks over at the drool on the pillow. <laughs> and now that I fall asleep with my neck red gum in my mouth, it looks like my face has to clap because the pillow's all green and yellow. Oh, God <laughs> damn. Uh, Fucking rich. Uh, wow. Now, who's who, so that wasn't bad, you say? Nah. Which means you liked the balls? I love balls. balls. He loves balls. Balls across the nose. Oh. <laughs> yeah, why don't you rest them on your chin while we wait for the rest of the guys? <laughs> oh, I like balls, Dice. They need them. <laughs> Yeah, I feel like balls so much, why don't you marry him? <laughs> chip. chip is like one of the Dice fans that Dice hates and abuses. Oh, yeah, yeah. Dice would not Jake like off. Chip. He's a Jacob face. A Jacob face. 
What's the matter with you? You got no, you got no sense. Do the poems about the, the little boy how he is bald because he needs money. I like that one. You, 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 you see, you give the jokes away. You don't know what you're doing. You, you think you're a comic. You're stupid. You're a fucking moron. A fucking asshole. Uh, uh, yeah. Chip, you're not funny. Sure I am. <laughs> no, you're stupid. Yeah. That's You're a, cool, a jake off. Cool the jacket or something. How many cows did you have to borrow that from? <laughs> See, that, that is, you don't make sense. Jake off. Oh. <laughs> Uncomfortable confrontation of Chip. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Chip and Dice would be great. It's amazing. He can make his chin look smaller than it is. <laughs> oh, he sucks impossible. it in for, for the Chip character. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like a werewolf. Werewolf. His chin. I do have a wolf. I do have a very weak chin. It's, oh. it's an innie almost now. Nothing. All right, <laughs> let's wait. Let's get the uh, another another yam bag up Take here. Buzz's mic. Oh. Yeah, take Love Buzz's mic there, Weya Wolf. Okay. And uh, yes. which uh, testicle yes. are you going to choose? Yes. So with a veal? Oh, you're going with a veal testicle. Oh. Why don't you dig your meaty paw right in there, Animal. pull up a veal testicle. How does it feel? Is it spongy? Is it, uh, uh, what texture? Uh, what? To give us a type of food that it most feels like. Uh, oof, um, I guess like chicken, maybe? <laughs> <laughs> chicken? That's crazy! <laughs> Get Lon Chaney, eat it. Lon <laughs> <laughs> Can't eat it? There you go. There you go. Just put put it in the whole mouth. ball in your mouth. He's eating the boiled ball. Uh, what are your uh, first impressions of it? <laughs> Uh-oh. Liver. Tastes like liver? Mm-hmm. That's not yeah? bad. So, uh, do you like liver? Uh, no, I'm not a big no. fan. No. <laughs> do you feel uh, any nausea or anything? Mm -hmm. No, 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 I think I'm good. I'm so good. one okay. guy said it was okay. One guy said it tastes like liver. Oh, that's crazy. Wow. That's crazy. This is nuts. That's crazy. It smells horrible, though. It smells bad. Yeah, it he bad. also said it smells bad. Ah, oh, wait, hold on, I got some ear. The ball madness ball. continues. This is insanity. Want some ear? Some ear smell? Oh. You know what? Probably... I think you should give these boys some ear smell. Ear yeah. smell. Yeah. yeah. All what? right, here you go. It's actually Rich, not that bad. Rich is going like to wipe blueberries. behind his ear. It smells like blueberries. It smells like blueberries. I've never had any. It's, it smells like blueberries. Yeah. It's, it's fucking. On. It smells like fruit. Take a whiff. It's not. It's yeah. not that bad. It, sh it shouldn't now, smell like fruit. Rich, it's Rich so is going to put the finger right. <laughs> Colin, Colin just smelled it and made a look at ain't no fruit. All right, here we go. Go ahead, Mister. Take Mr. some. Engine. <laughs> oh, horrendous. Oh, what does it smell like? It's Hold so on. Like, like rotten cheese. All right, go ahead. Love Rub a little us. more. Some. Rub a little more. What <laughs> 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 oh, oh, is wrong with you? It's <laughs> uh, so gross. Love He's dying. Dry <laughs> he has to be dying. I still have to smell. I know. <laughs> Rich. He's dying. Right. He's got to be dying. Go a little more. Here you go. Oh, it was running out. Oh, it's horrible. <laughs> it's like rotting flesh, oh, right? Why is behind Why your ear rotting well, we got to get the intern out there to take at least a whiff, though. It's almost yeah, gone. Yeah. It only lasts so long. Why does it only yeah. last so long? There's still so you can it's see got it. like a half-life. He's like fucking Iron Man. It it runs oil. out. <laughs> oh, it's like, oh, you got a skunk gland behind your ear. That's no skunk. <laughs> <laughs> That's what body wakes up to. Oh. Oh. Yeah, does she ever nuzzle your ear and, and smell that? Hold on. She she makes, right, just smell it. Just let him smell oh, it. It's behind his ear. Yeah, give, him, give it a good whiff. You gotta get Caesar involved. Get she... a good whiff. <laughs> oh, oh. oh he's, he's, he got rocked back. It smells really bad. It smells like the stuff that comes out of your mouth, the little yellow shit that comes out of your mouth. You know what I'm talking about? <laughs> oh, yeah, those little pieces of food? Yeah. 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 It smells right. Oh, <laughs> it's Rich can't it's even bad as I Rich it smells it and, and starts gagging. No, not in no, my No, get phone. the fuck out of here with that shit. <laughs> I swear to God. I swear to God. <laughs> I swear to God. Don't even fucking come near me with that. Come on, you never got any. I don't Body. care. Have that I'm going to hold that record. All right. Never. You, uh, I you got to smell it. I, no, I won't. Hold on. You gotta, Danny no, I won't. wants some. He's fucking over there making a big scene. He wants oh, yeah, it. Got, it's gone. There's no All more. Right. We got to wait. Body makes something. him sleep in a football helmet. <laughs> That's pretty bad. How'd That's you find really out bad. about that? Huh? How'd yeah. you find out? One night I was jerking off and I didn't want to come. Yeah. 
God, it's like every four jokes works for me today. My belly button is just not too I guess, I guess you're not good at math either. <laughs> 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 oh, shit. Do his belly button. Do your belly button. Uh, it doesn't have that much. But how'd you find out about that? Because <laughs> I used to get these great. big cysts behind my ear. Something. Oh. And sometimes, like, they were, all of a sudden, out of nowhere, I could be talking to a girl or whatever. One would pop and, like, pus would be dripping down my what? face. What? <laughs> no fucking way, really? Yeah. One yeah. Oh. <clears throat> it was just, like, all pus on my neck and shit. Jesus Christ. How old were you? <sighs> it was a couple weeks ago. Uh, really? No, it was young. I had one year. I had the sack taken out, and this sack I haven't taken out yet. Well, speaking of sack, <laughs> why don't we get back to testicle eating? That's how yeah. I roll. That's how I roll. <laughs> Where's the music? Come on! Yeah, I want to bang on the drum all day. I got to play my flute to it. <laughs> I'm crazy. All right. The funny thing is, nobody can resist, like, banging to the sword. Yeah, yeah. All right, it's Testicle Eating Friday. Joe just put it in his mouth. He couldn't even wait. He wanted balls <laughs> in his mouth. The, now, the guy whose face is too small for his body. Right. You, uh, what, uh... Yeah, Lou Costello. What do you think? <laughs> exactly. Don't eat that thing floating in the pool. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, you just ate what type of testicle? It's still here. Oh, it's a little one. What kind yeah. is it? Uh, duck. So he's going with the duck testicle. No, we already had a duck. No, we had a we? duck. You got to take a new one. One of these. Yeah, put the, don't just put the old. testicle on the table. That's crazy. <laughs> put it back. Yeah, put I it back. don't give what a shit where that? it goes. Put it up your ass. Lamb. Lamb testicle, which is going to be a little bigger. Uh, it does have, it looks like a little piece of chicken again. Not much variety in uh, the way testicles look when they're boiled. I've noticed this. Just a little testicle history here. <laughs> We're like testicle Wikipedia. Oh, why don't you pop that little Testicopedia. nugget? Testicopedia. Testicopedia. Testic. Well, all right. Well, I'm just pop it. You're fucking. Yeah, just eat, eat it. it. Go ahead. That's right. Initial reaction. While your mouth is full of balls. It's it's not as bad as you would think. Not as bad nah, as you would yeah. think. Yeah. Woo. Crazy. Don't want Crazy. To I want to bang on my drum all day. Crazy. It's insane. It's getting progressively worse. <laughs> 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 wow, that's insanity. He's pretty good on that thing. Oh, yeah. yeah. I've had Play a lot anything. of practice. It's true. Jesus. So it's not that bad. I can't get it down. Oh, can't uh -oh. get the balls down. What's the matter? Why? What's it doing? Is it lumping up in your it, throat? It's too um, oh. dry. chewy. Dry. Too chewy? Yeah, a little, you a little saliva. Get chew it a little more. Sperm went across those. Oh, my God. You know how much jism? No water, no water, no water, water yet. Water no, not until you're done. Little face. What are you doing? What are you yeah. fucking like pulling an ace out of your pocket? What are you doing? You don't do All that. Right. Oh, you did uh, it? You yep. swallowed? Okay. Yep. Yeah, that was thrilling. <laughs> wow, it's just getting nuts here. <laughs> <They're> really, uh, <laughs> nuts? You said nuts? Well, I don't want to worry. I don't want to worry. You know, I'm so tired, I didn't even realize I was saying that. to be. I just was just saying how crazy it was. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't mean to say that. I know. I pick up on things. That makes me a shock jock. <laughs> Where there's balls around, there's testicles, interns. This is crazy! You think... <sighs> What's next? Have all of them eaten the testicles and complimented the chef? Yeah, these are delish. <laughs> Do you think Wonderful. other chefs turn this down? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, we got another ball contest. Oh, wow. <laughs> I was a saucier. Uh, yeah, this is crazy. Who's going to eat the big bull ball? Someone's going to eat the bull ball. Yeah. Well, I think Love Buzz should defend Love his executive Buzz, internship. In order to defend his executive internship title, has to take one of the bull balls, which is the largest of oh, these consumables. The, the consumable ball. The whole ball. No, what, what was the giant ball he was there grabbing? Raw. Yeah. Aren't they going to eat raw? You can't eat a raw ball. That's oh, okay. against, uh, oh, you could get some kind that? of, you could get some, no, those uh, are just there for demonstration purposes, which makes it even more exciting. <laughs> you can't eat the raw balls because they might get E. coli. Oh, yeah, Jesus. this kind of looks like sausage in a weird way. No, it looks like a weird piece of like fucking, 
uh, maple fudge that you get in Lancaster. Yeah. It looks like a, like a maple. <laughs> Boy, really? Really? Maple, it does, yeah. Hitting, hitting something a lot of people can recognize. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen what you're talking about. I know what he's talking about. Of course you oh, do. Right. I worked the same gig. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. is that maple and Lancaster, right? A maple candy. Yeah, a little maple candy. Yes. Right. I really was too specific. Yeah. It looks like something Aunt Nancy used to make. <laughs> Boo, asshole. <laughs> <laughs> All right, why don't you now, uh, in order to hold your title, yeah, take the largest, the largest sure. of the testicles and shove that in your mouth. I can't believe I'm saying testicles in his mouth. This is crazy. Just like worms in those things, there too. It is. Yeah. Oh, he's yeah. gagging. You were trash talking. You were trash talking. Right, You're gag he's gagging. Do not vomit. He's gagging. Swallow that. Do you know how uh, there are worms in it? I know. You know I testicles know. are made up of little tubes <laughs> that up, have man? that have actual sperm cells in them. You're yeah, eating the right bull now. sperm cells. I oh, did it. Shit, he did it. <laughs> but it's he's in the back of your throat. Still, you're eyes. gagging. Still. Tears in his eyes no, from the victory. That's it's from the victory, so not from uh, so anything else. I, I'm still on the radio for a while. Wow. <laughs> Collins, this this is so uh, exciting. Collins hard. taking a phone call. Can you believe it? Yeah. I can. <laughs> Colin is uh, right. taking a call. Very important. To make sure there's reservations and stuff. <laughs> All right, man. I, 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 I love this <laughs> stupid horn. My totally do horn. That was either Adam or Chris, and he's not telling him to come up. And... Oh, oh. Yeah, he's Adam's guy. Promoting, uh, what do you want to play ball? Yeah? That's pretty good. Ball? Idea. They're playing ball? You know, they're doing eating <laughs> ball. That's <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Satters, if you put like cloven hooks and like a little thing on it, yeah, just, yeah, yeah. Like, I'm a better. fucking, uh, yeah, one of those fucking toodly do with the hooves. <laughs> wow, well, I gotta say, I think Love Buzz has retained his title as executive intern. That's right. Holy shit. And, wow. And stupidest. Wait, these guys yeah, didn't I'll eat the big that. balls. They gotta eat the big ones. Why? Joe, you wanna eat the balls? Somebody Today. puke at Joe, least. No. That, that one Oscar's doing it. Oscar. Oscar's going to... Oh. And, and by the way, Love Buzz, before we even said if we wanted anyone yeah. to eat the bigger balls, he's already interviewing the interns and saying he'll do it. Love Buzz is making the intern mistake of getting confidence way too soon. Way too right. soon. Oh. And, and actually... Uh, dictating what happens on the show. Yeah, no. yes. exactly. You give a kid a nickname, Love Buzz. <laughs> no. roll with it. It's nice kid, bright boy. I fired his fucking ass the next day. <laughs> What's that from? Casino. 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 Okay. I watched it. Yeah. You're a beautiful woman. Yes. You're a very lucky man. Oh. Mr. Rothstein. That fucking Roth movie. Man, Rothstein, you don't no. understand. You're guests here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're guests here. That, the other fucking night, I, yeah. I only had like two hours sleep, and that movie came on. And if you watch two minutes, you can't stop fucking watching yeah. that movie. And I sat up. F wa uh, you know what else <laughs> I wanted to tell you? You know what else I had? How do you run out of steam talking about Casino being I good? No. It was. It is no, good. Were, uh, do you watch Damages? Damages? Oh, uh, fuck it. FX has the best. Fucking, Damages? It's it's fucking great. Glenn this Close. better be a play on words, and it's a show about dams. No, no. Damages with Glenn Close <laughs> on FX. Uh, well, first of all, just the fact that a guy that's from the tri-state area suddenly has this accent from, like, you know, Michigan. Damages? What damages? Oh, you got to watch out for the damages that'll cause. That's why you got to get the true code. Second, exactly. And second yeah. of all, the idle fucking, like... You know, three ladies on the patio <laughs> after, after new shopping <laughs> topics that he picks. That's the Have you ever seen Damages? I mean, this show is really... Glenn Close? I can't stop watching yeah. it. It's like watching a movie on television. That's how well it's shot. Isn't it called <laughs> Damaged? Or First of all, nobody wants this level of sincerity and enthusiasm on the fucking show. Yeah. I mean, sometimes we do reviews Not here. about Damages. You came in at a left field and started talking about Damages. Okay. When the conversation you... <laughs> dwindles... For three soccer moms in a car, then somebody brings that up. <laughs> Not even in the middle of a radio show. Have you soccer seen an mom. Irish wake? <laughs> oh, yes. Colin Quinn's show. Oh, well, I thought maybe somebody would then oh, we didn't throw mention out a Colin's. plug. I know. Come on. It's a Colin's show is called 
Long story short, and it's the Bleecker Street Theater, and I guess it's about the history of the uh, of the world of humanity. Yeah. And it's uh, <laughs> Colin just thumbing through the I'm paper right now. I'm also in the new now. movie Grown Ups tonight. Yes. Well, Colin's uh, show. He's got a show tonight, uh, eight o'clock. Saturday tomorrow he's got two. He's got a matinee at four o'clock and then eight o'clock. Wednesday the thirtieth, eight p.m. and then Friday July second, eight o'clock. That's the only shows that he's doing, and it's at forty five Bleecker really Street. Really not true. Are oh, you doing more? <laughs> shows running through August. Oh, I, why is this all we have then? I don't know. Oh, all right, don't cool. Don't yell at me about it. All right, no need to rush. Jesus Christ. Don't rush. I was, trying to, I was trying to create a buzz, Take but apparently you got all summer. Relax. Go one at a time. Uh, if you want tickets. I heard it was brilliant. It's a uh, two one two, two three nine sixty two hundred, or go to uh, http forward dot forty five bleaker dot com, and this is only the, funny if you read where voice is appearing next right after this. The number forty five. It's forty five. It is bleaker spelled. Oh Jesus! <laughs> Who wrote this out? Why Wolf? I believe uh, T. Stephen Carlisi. Ah. Uh, no. who, who did how Oscar? Do how do you spell uh, bleaker? Oh, uh, wait, Oscar, who wrote it? Caesar. Caesar, Caesar wrote it. How do you spell bleaker? Oh, uh, way, way, way Wolf of you London. Can play, you can play oh, you yeah, spell you it a couple different no, ways. No, no, I just did bosses. What? Boss. Uh, you weren't supposed to get into any spelling conversations. Well, Way wolf just alone. Steer, steer clear. Let the yeah, big boys boss. talk about spelling. I said fucking, uh, there's a couple ways to spell bleaker. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Like you, B L E A K E R is how you've made my life. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Are you looking it up? Bleaker Street. I'm making sure. You don't have a dictionary? It's too easy. Oh. A dictionary. Here's how he spelled it B L E E. C K E R dot com. Well, maybe the fucking Bleaker Street. Bleaker. The C is silent. Um, like, I, the I J would... should be silent. <laughs> <Did you? laughs> it's uh, <laughs> 40, 45 Bleaker there Street. Such, there was such a great one, and then Voss kind of ruined it by going, the Jew? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Just... Why would you say that out loud? <laughs> Take your lumps. 45bleaker.com. It's number 45, B-L-E-E-K-E-R dot com. Oh, when did you get here? 212. Like that cyst behind your ear. 239-6200, <laughs> running through August. I'm going to see it this week. Or nice. early next week. I didn't... Uh, How do you... Yeah. Uh, and mind. Seinfeld directed it, or did he produce see, it? See, here's the beauty. Right now, I was going to say something, and I just realized, boys, what you should learn from I go, never mind. <laughs> Because I knew I was going to sink myself in a fucking <laughs> Guatemalan sinkhole. Um, Seinfeld directed and produced it. All right, cool. So, really? Uh, what do yeah. you do? Like you said, okay, sit there. <laughs> like stand. Wait, it was like Simon Says almost, huh? <laughs> si Simon Says. That's yeah. a good one. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, no, I'm just saying. Like, uh, get the flute. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> hey, come on, we got to bring the energy back on the show. Yeah. <laughs> They're through August. <laughs> Colin really, Colin really ruined the plug though, because it's like someone saying tickets are going fast. No, no, they're readily available. <laughs> <laughs> but you, you, you do the plug and then Voss is right afterwards. Boo! Voss. Boo! 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 Interracial couple on television. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. You didn't know why we were booing? So I thought huh? she was booing because there was a lady who was wearing some kind of dress or something. <laughs> <laughs> they cackle like women. Rich will be yeah. performing at the, uh, the tree house. Why did you use air quotes when you said that? I know it is. Yeah, and it was supposed to be overperforming. Uh, God, Rich is going to be performing at the <laughs> Treehouse <laughs> June 26th. Do you remember in Dan Bird, Bird, where they canceled your uh, New Year's Eve show, you and Levy, the Treehouse? <laughs> Why do you have to just make it real and mean Why? and remind people? Why? As if he doesn't have a litany of failures I can't to remember. He would go on tour with his manager, too. What's that? Go ahead, read it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Borgata, July 2nd and 3rd is where I will be. Borgia. Yes, I'm going. I'm Borgia. going on this one.
Rich, June 26th in Danbury Treehouse. Go to uh, Treehouse <laughs> Co treehousecomedy.com. Oh, Two of them. I'm doing Danbury, and then I run over and do Stratford. Which, which, what's this called? Rich Voice what? Oh, this is Mardi Gras in, uh, in, in uh, Scottsdale. What had he called it one what? time? Oh, God. Yeah, it's, uh, that's on Mardi the list. Gras. Mardi, Mardi Gras. <laughs> this is Mardi Gras. This is where I need people because I'm doing a door deal. I mean, because it's a great club. Uh, July 28th and 29th. Where's that? In uh, Scottsdale, Arizona. It's a rock club because I'm out there for a golf tournament, even though I can't hit a ball anymore. Uh, and I'm going to. What feel... did you say? You can't hit what? A ball! Ah! Ah! <laughs> Yes. Yes. You a could, centaur. You could be a centaur. I am a centaur. Ugh. Yeah. I just can't. Well, why not be a congressman? <laughs> C centaur. <laughs> <laughs> this is, I like the Good. fact that at the last minute, Norton in his head made the audible where it's too smart for Chip. But it's perfect for a trashing a boy. <laughs> <laughs> That's exactly yeah. what I did. Absolutely. Look at that. I think, think Colin saw it. the face shift. Yeah. <laughs> it went yeah, back to my normal face. <laughs> yes, this is a good one. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, a fucking comedian. <laughs> it's Caesar. Say that, that is how you spell Bleecker. 45 Bleecker Street. Oh. Whoa. Oh, Whoa. Oh, Caesar. Oh. Two Caesar. Caesar. Two years in office, and look how uppity they get. Man. Oh, oh Jesus. BL nice. Come in here correcting That's the fucking. Right. <laughs> oh. B L E E C K E R Street Theater. So I'm incorrect? You are. All right. You wow. fired. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Are you firing me? No, I'm not firing you. I'm firing you. <laughs> it's a great friggin' fuck up that they left in. Because yeah. they cut right after that, and De Niro's face looks like he's ready to start cracking up laughing. Right. That he said, no, I'm not firing you. Yes, I'm firing you. What movie? <laughs> Casino. <laughs> I watched it the other night. You know what that movie is? <laughs> if you watch three minutes of it. <laughs> yes, we heard it. It's like, watching, that from it's like watching half of an uh, episode of Damages. Damages. <laughs> Damages. When do you do your podcast? <laughs> oh. oh, well... <laughs> Do you do a podcast? <laughs> no, no, no. Do you? How come I've never been asked to be a part of it? I want to be on your podcast. There's no podcast. Please. Colin Quinn podcast. Where is There's this happening? There's no podcast. <laughs> Damn. Let's see that one. I'd love to be on that. Server. I don't even know how to service. do a fucking podcast. Well, well, like obviously, this. you don't know how to do this. Nothing. Oh, it might have helped oh. if you didn't do this first. I know. <laughs> I'm sorry. I like, wish if I had eyes, like a baby big, on a radio like show. <laughs> What, Rich? About the I heard, uh, do you, you talk about Carlos Mancia. Did you hear? No, Man, Mancia, Man, not Carlos Mancia. Mancia. Uh, he's another oh. comic from, from that when Mark Marin and them went after him. Did you hear that stuff on the podcast? And all these Mexican and Latino comics were calling in, fucking telling stories about how fucking Carlos, how fucking ruthless. They weren't defending him because they were all of the same oh. uh, racial background. I heard Lopez, oh. George Lopez threw Carlos against the wall or tried to choke him for years. Really? Yeah, the comics... Let me tell you something, when it comes to stealing material or, yeah. or the perception of it, comics are not going to defend each other based on race. Really? No. Wow, that's the, that's the thing where they will actually fork off from their race? And well, it's like if you're, if you're doing Latin material, you're stealing from Latin guys, so they're the ones you're stealing from. Yeah. Well, it's about time. Well, Turn, I'm just saying. Turnabout's fair play. <laughs> oh, what? I was done with that. Anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I do just smashed Rich's breakfast <laughs> with his fist. It was wonderful. Punched his muffin. Um, do, do we need... Uh, no, uh, let's take one, You know what? You know what? Just each one of you, grab some of the well-cooked stuff, because I'd like to know uh, if it tastes like regular food. It smells it's good. Yeah, it smells good. We, what, just grab a handful of... Could you at least play the flute another song while they're doing it? Oh, absolutely. While they're eating. And green then we'll get sleeves. There. Go. Oh, yeah, how does that go? I just want to say I had a ball. Da, 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 da. Oh, bleak as shit, dude. What song was that? Green sleeves. <laughs> Oh. 
What's funny is all the listeners have to, have to listen to you. I'm <laughs> doing a pan flute. I'm Zam Fear. Remember Zam Fear, master of the pan flute? Yes. They'd sell for fucking the LPs or, or cassette. Uh, all right. What, is, uh, what did you just eat? I had some of the veal. And it's good. Yeah, I didn't even think it was veal balls when I was eating it. <laughs> Why would you? It's prepared like fucking yeah. gourmet food. Yes, there's nothing that would indicate that unless there was a veal going. Come on, don't. Yeah, stop. <laughs> stop. I mean, we're expecting boiled balls, and you bring in this gourmet shit. Boiled balls. <laughs> yes. All right. I, yeah. got, I got duck. Duck testicles and some kind of uh, nice uh, pasta thing. Probably delicious. How was that? Chinese food. Chinese food. It tastes like Chinese food. It tastes like Chinese food. He looks like a young Bobby Kelly. Oh, a little bit. I've gotten Doesn't that. You? Huh? I got, I've gotten that. What, AIDS? <laughs> and that didn't make <laughs> Ah, sorry. All right, uh, step right up to the next uh, plate. <laughs> step up to the plate, get it? Holy Thank Jesus. you for having me, too. I had a balk today. Oh, no, you had a what? <laughs> I'm not going to fucking get a ham-handed fucking <laughs> intro like that. Exactly. I only do the real ones. I knew you were trying. Which you, I knew your shenanigans. <laughs> I had a ball today. Good. What? Timing. When, when you step up to the plate. When you play that, yeah. How is that? It's really good. It tastes like sausage. Like sausage. Yeah, that's right. Ah, <laughs> wow. This sausage. Is, <laughs> what a crazy. Yeah. This is a guy that grew up eating off a dirt floor. Anything's gonna taste. I know good. it's right gonna now, taste great. Walk down to the fucking river to do his yeah. laundry. That's, that's not true. Please. How's the fucking river rat? <laughs> <No>. <laughs> How many of those have you eaten down there? No, no, no. That's not. That's not. No. No, no, no. A river. Rat. And what's the last <laughs> one down there? No, I'll I'll this. Is that beef balls? Yep. And then what is it? It's uh, in some kind of what sauce? I don't, I don't know, but like, um, it looks fucking really good. No, it does. Yeah. It stinks. Can't have it that. How it is does. That? The thing behind okay. his ear stinks. That's good. Look, he's going back for seconds. How outrageous is an eating contest when they're going back for seconds? <laughs> Look at the size of the piece he's, he's taking. taking some he to go. loves it. That's because I don't have a. Is he that loves a? it. Is that an omelet? Sure. <laughs> he made. He made. This ball's a little hard, though. Oh, here you go. Uh-oh. Sure. Oh, that's what Lance Armstrong said. <laughs> <laughs> oh, here yeah, it's a ball uh -oh. ball with a lump on it. Crazy. Oh, there he goes. How is that? Really good. Really good. <laughs> All right. This is... Uh, Can they take these this dumb things out? All right. The kid whose idea of a leisure activity growing up was assassinating somebody <laughs> off of a mini bike. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Uh, wow. What a segment. Uh, now... Now clean it up, you guinea brat! <laughs> You're a ball eater like your father. <laughs> Could it be a Giselle just like your father? <laughs> All right. Uh, well, let's thank the interns and, of course, our mystery chef, who doesn't want to be known for cooking balls perfectly. Apparently, uh, is, they loved it. This is show business too. You're going to blame the chef that this thing bombed. Like he'll probably never get oh, back please, on here. Believe me, <laughs> so I, I, I'm absolutely blaming the chef. <laughs> this is he did a wonderful job preparing testicles, even the boiled ones. He probably, like, prepared the water with olive oil and garlic. Yeah. yeah. Uh, wine. Boil it. He pushed them all wine, in. Some sugar. Yeah. That's never, how you make uh, sauce. You never know when you may have to cook for a hack radio show one day. <laughs> 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 all, right, they're, they're, all right. There they go. Uh, thank you, gentlemen. Get back out there and do whatever you interns do. It's going to be the last time I ever speak to you guys. I'll blame one of the worst segments ever on all of you. Unless you drop three years and grow tits. Sip. <laughs> Sip. Sip. After that line. That coffee was too Sip. strong. Was it? Yeah. Well, too dark. Yeah, and that it? joke wasn't strong enough. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking jokes. Who cares? Yeah. Yeah. I'm, a, I'm only a comic. Yeah, really? Good. What do you need about jokes? Fuck yeah, good enough. They're overrated. Eight years of this shit. You're lucky I'm even fucking talking. Okay, <laughs> go fuck yourselves. Come in here, take a shower for your little dumb contest. Fucking, this is unbelievable. It's like doing every radio show on the fucking road. Oh, good, I step in during your contest. Why don't we make a pyramid now out of the interns and let the top one eat balls? You guys suck. This is the fucking worst. I'm telling you, it went from, like, edgy. You're like Penn and Teller in Vegas now. You went from edgy guys <laughs> oh, to, oh, my God, this is the Vegas show. 
fucking done. What, are you going to start fall walling radio? This is the fucking Fort, worst. Fort you know, it doesn't, don't, I made a mistake because I'm fucking telling the truth, God damn it. But the I truth am is, done. you wouldn't have even noticed if I had to come in and immediately surmise. I didn't even exactly. notice you. Either. I didn't Stupid even idiot. notice. I'm the one who said Wacky Wednesday, okay? I set him up like I always do. But okay? 20 as, minutes after I came in and just said, hey, what the fuck is as this? As soon as no. I... When I came it, in, it boss was laughing. What was going on? I realize there's no real reason for it. Take it easy, sir. Thank you. Thank have, you. Have you recently uh, got a phone call, by the way? Okay, very good. Very oh, good. Oh, now that's the story we want to hear. Yes, yes. You you know, a break his fucking legs. I tell you, the Italians, they still never change. <laughs> have you recently got a phone call? Okay. <laughs> You're so right. It's just like you know the thing. We were talking about that thing. Oh, that's taken care of. Oh, All right. All right. It's great. The thing. Yeah, he's, so he's you know, I like that guy. Oh. He's all right. God, does he uh, hate his career? Well, as far as his radio <laughs> career goes, he's very successful in his other oh, career yeah. as as a chef. But um, yeah, as far as this goes, even he had this look on his face, like, "What the fuck am I doing here? Reynolds. What am I doing here?" Oh, well. You know, they don't all go out of the park. <laughs> no, that's the way it you is. Know? No, but some are fouled off their shin. <laughs> <laughs> this, is a, this, this was a long is a fucking way from not going out of the park. <laughs> I think you hit with a pitch on this one. Yeah. <laughs> this was a dribbler foul. <laughs> Ned is short. <laughs> Ned is close. <laughs> but as Boss once said, two. it's a numbers game. <laughs> that's what it is, baby. Boss yeah. once said, it's a numbers it's game. It's a numbers game. Well, it is. You throw Sometimes. enough against the wall and you go see a Colin that's show. A, <laughs> You're not very nice to your pal Colin. Oh, fuck him and fuck you. <laughs> I thought he was gonna say I'm fucking with him for a second. He's like, ah, oh, fuck him and fuck you. <laughs> Holy shit, Voss. I love angry Voss. I love his angry Voss. But is that's why Voss is funny. <laughs> yeah, because he's he just, just angry. Really is fucking. Because he's just... got brass balls. <laughs> Spew oh, whoa, bro. The bit's over. I can give a shit. Da, 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 da. If only people could have seen you on that fucking pan flute. I, know, I get so great. into it. Like I want to, yeah. I, I want to hit all the notes, but it's a slidey whistle, so yeah, it's got a. Every note has to go hey, up to it. I can't you just and hit Sam it. together. We're like perfect. <laughs> I like it. Look at the spit that flies out like it's bosses talking. Or, or when, talking. You, when you play it, your eyes are like my three-year-old looking for affirmation that, oh, this oh. is good. You know what I'm saying? With, the, with her lips wrapped around something like mine are? <laughs> that's a nice, so that's nice about a three-year-old. That's, nice. that's, good. that's a good way to talk. Ant's eyes right. are like his three-year-old wondering, why is my dad so stupid? <laughs> Thanks for saving me. Sorry. Because Rich was ready to unload that I made a sexual joke about his three-year-old daughter. Jesus Christ, she's too old for you. Aww. <laughs> Please. Oh, please. If my daughter saw you, she'd step over you to eat pussy. What the fuck? Oh, wow. <laughs> that, His, how are the older ones doing? She graduated the other day. First one in the family. Really? <laughs> yeah, I yeah, bet. No, she graduated. I sat for fucking four hours on a metal fucking bleacher going, it would have been a lot easier to quit school, okay? Sat there and fucking, I got to wait for the V's to be called for her to get her diploma. All right. And she walks up, yeah, 500 yeah. kids, and she fucking doesn't even look at the camera. You know, I, uh, yeah, I fucking 20-something thousand. See, I, t I convinced her to go to community college, okay, for two years till she figures out what she wants. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, and like the other one. And then she says yes. And all of a sudden, her college calls that she applied to two weeks later to let her in, because obviously they didn't hit their fucking quota. So two for weeks. For Jews, you mean? No, for, no, for oh. uh, she's only half Jew, supposedly. Uh, so... <laughs> You know, if they call her two weeks after the fucking cutoff, you know, the fuck, it cost me nineteen thousand dollars. So I did. I'm fucking like, mad. Yeah. I don't have the money. I don't have All nineteen right. grand just laying around. It's fucking oh, half a year's it. work. What's that? It's That's like really. <laughs> he was like he was like Peter Finch in Network. If Peter Finch was spitting down at the people below, <laughs> I'm mad as hell. I'm not gonna take, yeah. I'm not gonna take it anymore. Yeah, a nickel buys two nickels worth. <laughs> Go to your windows. Drool into the streets. Yeah. <laughs> you ever seen that one? Why are you talking about the movie Boys in the Band that you were in? You were they don't get it. Boys in the Band? That AIDS. No, it isn't. No, is that what it was about? Gays of the Sixties. Gays. Oh, oh right, right. It was right. a good movie, too. It was a great movie. To him, it was a documentary. <laughs> it's like damages. <laughs> <laughs> I also...
which I haven't started watching yet. I heard it's great. Is uh, Breaking Bad? I, I ordered that too. What the fuck is? This? You're like a you're like a wash woman. What are, what are you talking doing? about? <laughs> What you're do you like, mean? Like, I buy these fucking. If you have. First of all, it, it's bad enough if you it, talk about a show you watch, but he's like, a show that I haven't watched yet, I want to talk well, about. I want to talk is, about when it. You Shut the watch fuck up. Three <laughs> the cover of the when box you, looks interesting. When you watch three episodes, that's three hours. You don't have to think of things to say the to your wife. Oh, okay. <laughs> like, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm a failure. Exactly. <laughs> hey, you Far rolled the dice, you lost, honey. I'm telling you, she looks at all of them. All those little bastards were in love with her, I oh, guarantee. Oh, yeah, yeah. Every little guy, alternative scene. She's an attractive well girl, now. yeah, yeah. Beautiful, funny, yep. smart. You're making a face. Why? She made one movie. You don't think good. Bonnie's attractive? She is brilliant. I'm, she's the way brilliant she's putting she's this down, she's fucking brilliant. I'm telling you, she is. I asked if you thought she was beautiful. She's a fucking, she is the best. <laughs> no. Oh shit! No, I'm only kidding. <laughs> she is beautiful. She's, she's, yeah, she's a good-looking mom. You know what the fuck? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when you're gay, I mean, when you're married. Ah, you know. yes, yeah. Do you know? Uh, there's a video game Any and one of, one of the she characters. Could have Jeremy Piven. She could have been. Her oh husband. my God! Could could she have? Zach Galifianakis. Any uh, of the guys? Oh, yeah, that, kinda, that's who she wants. Is that fucking? I'm saying she could have any one of those guys. Her. Yeah. yeah. She'd be sitting there. She'd be laying next to him. But are nice any of them this? <laughs> oh, God. He's still got it. <laughs> He's still got it. He's still got it, all right. Are any of them that? You can't even talk when you lift your shirt up. You're sucking in so much. <laughs> You're right. That's how you show your muscles. Tightening up. Okay. That's how you... <laughs> what is... Fucking the stomach of Bob Gullop. <laughs> <laughs> Who the fuck? I don't know what you're saying half the time. <laughs> he does. My I'd rather make him God, laugh. Rich. Yeah, that's true. He didn't, it wasn't his idea to do the fucking ball eating contest. Well, mine, okay. I don't know where it came from. Okay. We don't know where it came from. It Somebody not... infiltrated the program and, and put that slid that into the notes. Yeah. Bobo's <laughs> on the... the phone. That didn't come oh, from hey, LaWanda <laughs> here. The boss is right. That was an idea from the seventies, local radio from the seventies. Uh, that was like Tulsa local radio in the seventies. Yeah, absolutely. You know what? Thank you for saying that because I was going to save it till the end of the show, but that was a tribute we were just doing right there. Oh. It was not to be taken seriously oh. as a bit. We were doing a little, we, we, we like to call the Friday morning rewind, where we uh, take a an era of radio yes. and recreate it. And today was the first day. Is that why? <laughs> is that why? Is that why me and Boss are the guests? <laughs> <laughs> I had to say exactly. See, yes. I was looking through my. Uh, yeah, you oh, saved yourself. See, you guys can self deprecating never, humor. You guys can never make fun of Scorch again after today. No, no. Or Screech. But what? I don't know. I just want to use SCH's names. <laughs> Why would you of all people want to use SCH? I know. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, no, I, 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 I seriously. <laughs> I uh, want to apologize for the testicle Friday portion. Friday morning rewind. I the, like it. Uh, it was like Friday it. morning rewind. And what uh, we do at next uh, week on Friday will be the wonderful 30s of Germany, oh. where we will talk about the oh. Juden and I heard uh, two Kristallnacht. Weeks, I heard two weeks from now you guys are doing a, a Hutu Radio Rwanda. Yes. 1994. Yes, yes. We're going to say... Uh, These cockroaches yes. must be eliminated. Yes. What was that about the big tree? We oh, must. We must chop off. Yeah, we chop yeah. down the, the tree. big tree, oh. and then everyone just goes bullshit with machetes. Right. Old school radio. We're going to take radio from all over the world, uh, and we'll do some BBC stuff. Uh, very boring, so dry when, radio like yeah. today. When people in like two in two thousand fifty oh rewind and they go back to twenty ten, will they go? Wait a second. This isn't twenty ten. See, is it, well, if they hit the rewind show. If they hit you guys, won't they think this is 1970? Like, you gotta, Holy you gotta, shit. do you get yeah, what I'm saying? Well, I get what we say, we just said it for eight minutes, you just reiterated it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, I'm saying rewind, <laughs> rewind radio. I know! <laughs> That's something a dumbass would say. Okay, right. we, we're caught Shut in a up. parallax. Right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, shit. Jesus, time flies when we want to get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hack situation. I'm sitting between two guys I pray don't bleed on me. <laughs> Jeez, they're, they're hetero. Huh? It doesn't matter. Look at them. Oh, you kidding me?
Everybody's experimented. Exactly. There's well. not one person in this row that hasn't sucked a dick. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but some enjoy it more than others. Yeah, for drugs. Right? Nah, you I, said I, you did. No, I never no. saw such a dick. The guy said, actually made, gave him drugs to make him stop. He's like, look, here, just take this. Oh. I remember my gym teacher said to me, too much teeth. Yeah. Probably rather have Buscemi sucking his dick than you. <laughs> See? It's like a bear trap. That was like, you're like s fucking Slim Pickens on the bomb falling out of the fucking... <laughs> yeah! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Riding it down. Riding it right down. I was going to say, Bonnie McFarlane, by the way, is featured, the name is featured in uh, uh, a game that uh, Laszlo was involved with. Oh, really? Yeah. Yes. Dead Red, uh, Red Dead uh, Redemption. Oh, really? Yeah. We all did a voice on it, and then uh, you come across this town, and there's a girl in it named Bonnie McFarlane. Oh, really? Is yeah. she blowing open micers? <laughs> no. <laughs> she's married to the, the retarded blacksmith. <laughs> See, get it? Ugh. Yeah! <laughs> yeah! Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I got a meeting to go to after this. Do you? Oh, yep. Really? Yeah. Remember yeah. the first step. Once you take the first step. <laughs> I knew it. I knew if I didn't fucking be specific, that was coming. Is it with that chef? No, 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 no. It's another guy about another thing. It's just one of those things. Do I get to go to the meeting? We don't, no. Oh, that's not one of those? No, this is... Um, oh, it's for people whose I got names are on the show. Down the hall. And, oh, God damn, Rich, that's brutal. <laughs> wow. Uh, yeah, I got to go down the hall. and. Uh, are you scared? I think... Um, Hey, when you, I'm gonna you're be, pan I'm, flute playing? I'm going to be reprimanded. Listen, pan flute? When you become as rich as you are, does anything scare you anymore? For real? Like, do you get, like, yes. what, what kind of, what could, like, that, you The know? fact that I have ten more minutes to do of this show before. I'll tell you what's great, though. When, on radio, when somebody brings up, like, an interesting kind of personal subject, like dealing with the boss in kind of a situation, yeah. and then somebody else who's just a guest on the goddamn show changes the subject. Listen to me. Let me explain. Why don't you fucking if you knew anything, room, if you knew anything about this show, you've heard them and the boss bitch for fucking five years. Okay, <laughs> we don't care about them and the boss anymore. Okay, we care about other things. All right, so go fuck yourself and go back to bed. All right, maybe wake up in twenty thirty and come out with a new one man show, and maybe by then Julian McCullough will be producing it. You suck. I'm talking to him about <laughs> Holy real deal. Shit. God damn, angry rich. <laughs> Fucking angry rich. We don't care about the boss. They didn't guarantee at the end of the show. I wasn't too rough, I was. I, yeah, I was, was only I kidding. Okay? I was kidding. Should I send, should the, be angry should I send worm. the card and flowers? <laughs> angry worm. He, fucking, he slithers back after the show. Uh, I didn't mean that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I was just kidding, right? In the, you know, in the moment. <laughs> Jeez, I could close that my was eyes. That nice and... fucking hammering. That was a good slam. That was good. The fact of the matter is, though, Rich, I yes, I... we have been doing uh, the boss thing for many years because we have had our run-ins with, with uh, authority figures. Oh, really? You're the first ones that ever had a problem with their boss? But this is, uh -oh. this is me having to go down the hall and be reprimanded yep. for being tardy this morning. That's it for tardiness. For, for tardy. Well, I've been oh. I've been tardy uh, a little more than I should be. Sometimes um, it makes our lives unmanageable. Yeah. So I've been tardy, and I have to now march down the hall and talk with um, with a Stephen Bladder and be reprimanded. Is that Gold's brother? I yeah I know that's how that's going to be my my walk. I have to walk the green mile. I have to walk the green mile. Well, you which know It's literally a mile, by the but way. But you can look on the bright yeah, side. So you get yelled at for being tardy, not for setting up a replica of Hitler's Austrian villa <laughs> in the middle of Long Island. <laughs> I, I wish Voss had said replica instead of you. Yeah, you did say wish. You did say replica. Yes. Uh, well, when you the green mile could be the green line towards your future. Maybe if you you know. Is that a Vosperation? No, it's a fidelity commercial. Oh, uh, oh, 
Oh. Well, God, a listen fidelity to me. commercial. The problem you is you're on it fire. That much attention to you're on fire being mean and funny. Don't try to be clever. Do that to like the alternative scene. You try to be clever because your wife is like, could you pretend to be one of the alternative guys that made it once in a while in bed? That's, keep that for fantasy sex. <laughs> yeah. Put a little stool could next to the bed to be, with notes on it. You, honey, pretend to be Blaine Capatch tonight. <laughs> Every time you talk, it gives me hope. <laughs> Why? I don't just you got nothing. <laughs> uh, what, that you could still survive with nothing? Is that what you're saying, what Rich? What I'm saying is... Just nothing. <laughs> you got nothing. What a scumbag boss is today. He is an insufferable prick today. But it is funny as shit. It really is. Oh, I, I love this so side of Rich. I go, why? Because you got nothing. <laughs> and he looked you right in the eyes when yeah, he said it. I just gave you a little he cocky smirk. It. Like, yeah. you got nothing. Holy I see oh, you. Shit. I see through you. You got nothing. Oh. I'm trying to. I'm wondering how much trouble I'm in, like if I'm in. Because Bob called me, my agent called, and oh. and like that's not good at this hour. Like, how so late now were I'm just you? Like, uh, I came in at six forty. I'm supposed to be here at six. You know, but the show starts at what six o'clock. Okay, here's the trouble. That's that's the trouble that he goes. The show starts at what. Six o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> He's been here eight years. He was about six, six like, thirty. Sometimes it's <laughs> like six or five. If there's like, some production. So who was thing here? Going. Norton was here. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So Jimmy was she here. She was like, "Yes, I was here precisely." Jimmy was here. I, yes, I was promptly here at five fifty-nine. Yeah, you know, if you know the, Jimmy, he was praying you don't show up ever again, and it turns into the Jimmy Show. Okay, I know. So he doesn't have to go on at four in the Jimmy afternoon very good. and play fucking Vic Henley bits. And did the. Uh... <laughs> Wow. You are pulling names out of your fucking ass. Boss is on fire today. I wish. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you have your excuse why you were late. <laughs> what? What? There was a fire on the LIE. Nothing. On the J-E-W. Oh, my God. <laughs> How could things that were so good turn so bad so fast? I don't know. Listen to one of your tapes. <laughs> Holy shit. He's, he's on a tear. <laughs> yeah, so I, I have this, this this feeling like I used to get in school. Like I got the when, <laughs> when the principal would call you in and say you're never going to be allowed to teach here again. <laughs> the, the family isn't pressing charges, oh, yeah. but or, or, exactly, we found it. We know it's you. We found cum all over her nappy mat. <laughs> Oh, was it God. that feeling that you had to go home and take a shower with your dad again? I knew. Oh, I knew, too. Hey, that was a, was we did, we you, did an hour you, on you that was, one you day. You were choking up on yeah, the back too day. hard. <laughs> okay. Yeah. One day. Exactly. Oh, We've talked about a lot okay, of things. Okay, maybe at callback radio, you just wanted to call back something on callback radio. Uh, 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 I'm, trying, uh, I'm trying to get a, a feed, a vibe off of, of how much trouble happen? I'm in. Because I, I got to walk down there. Pretend the father to an of one of your I'm girlfriends sure the door walks in. is going to be closed. Those never went well. All you got to do is say, the guys. the one time the girlfriend I had that had a father, by the way. Yeah. I'd rather have father issues Do you want me to father. speak for you? I'll walk you, in with you. Will you be my you, representative? And, and you can whisper to me, and I'll, and I'll say what you're going to answer and what you're not going to answer. Yeah. Senator Anthony demands an apology. He's owed an apology here, Senator. And then maybe we can have Bladder's brother sit there with a bad hat on. <laughs> and then Steve can go, all right, you can. <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. He could have had his own radio show. Or you guys are something. leaving Bobo on hold this whole time. Oh, fuck him. Would you like to talk to Bobo? Two no. I'm giving Bobo two seconds. He's got go. an idea for the. Go, uh, okay. go, go. quick. Bobo. Bobo, what? What? Make it fast. Everybody's been saying me and Rich Boss should do a sitcom together. All right, thank you, uh, Bobo. All right. Yeah. Cool. Who's everybody? Wow. I'm on the bus? I was gone. Yes. He's gone. I would have loved to have discussed that for another hour. Exactly. But. Dummy and Bobo, they'd call it. <laughs> <laughs> that's, the, that's the kind of defense you're going to have when he walks in the room with you. I'm telling you, he yeah. is defense right here. You think I... I He's I, fucking brilliant. I, I can I literally have to go in there and... Sit down. Be Oop. cocky. And be. No. <laughs> that, that Look, I'm tired. What? I should be 
No, I should be humble. Well, you've said to me before, and no one's listening, but the, like you've said, look, bladder's a pushover. You run right over him. That's what you say. Did you say no one's listening? Yeah, Are you talking I, about... I was saying that earlier. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jim. I was not. No, you weren't. Why don't you limp oh in God. there and, and go with the medical thing? Yeah. What? Exactly. Say you fucking hurt yourself this morning and took in, uh, you know, a little extra time. And took in a little extra time? It, it take, take into what the happens table? to you when you talk? <laughs> I, I, I'm tired, man. I Do you think token is a word? Huh? What would make you say token? Yeah, like a, a, a token black guy. All right, look. <laughs> Let's just see if Bob wants to come in for a minute. Bobby. Oh, all right. Oh. <laughs> oh I thought I was at an aquarium when I just now. <laughs> We're in a glass booth. <laughs> of course, the studio's glass walled, and there is a, a rabbit. big fat show outside. <laughs> oh my God, the door was open when you just uh, yelled that. So back. what? What are you going to do? Get in? He'll never fit. <laughs> I'll, just, I'll just wait until he leaves. <laughs> I want to see if he breaches the tile ceiling. <laughs> uh, holy shit. I thought I smelt krill. <laughs> see, that's what whales eat. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I wonder what you're going to be eating in this meeting. Oh, uh, I know. <laughs> My fucking balls. Yeah, some uh, are going to have a help in a humble pie. <laughs> oh, God. Making me feel bad here, Chip. I need a little uh, uh, pick me up. Give me a little something to make there. me feel good. Why don't you walk I'll in with the food? Go what in there I like do? fucking dice. Really? Yeah. You think dice would take shit when they tell him he's fucking 40 minutes late? He's been on time every day for this long? Well, maybe. You know. Jesus Christ. You this is just going there. That ideas that got you canceled. You got to say that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Every you time to... you have an idea, rewind to three years ago. Did you go to Comedy Central it. like Dice? Did you walk in there like Dice? <laughs> hey, hey. Yeah. hey, it's my show. I'll do it the fucking way I want it. Okay. Hey. Do you understand? Okay. Yeah. What? I'm what? Oh. <laughs> Fuck you. I'll take a half an hour show and do a 40-minute fucking sketch. Oh, oh, wow. Oh. Rich is uh, critiquing my show. your program there. I thought it was very good, insightful, topical. Oh, I up. thought Nobody Colin was a good was. host. It was. It was but, the yeah. best show on television. It was good. You know what? That show, what made it? Celebrities watched it. And and they would come up to you. Celebrities. And, celebrities, I said. Yeah, no, 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 you said I remember Vince Vaughn came up to me in a fucking Vince restaurant. Vaughn? Vince Vaughn who? Huh? <laughs> Vince uh, Vaughn Frankenstein. <laughs> Vince Vaughn who? <laughs> uh, 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 holy fucking shit. best show on television. Wow. Fucking ruined me. Yeah. It, I took it uh, harder when that was canceled than when my first wife left me. I'm not lying. Yeah. I yeah. Saw, I'm not bullshitting. It was, yeah. like, it was mm -hmm. horrible. Yeah, I felt uh, bad. Because at least when your first show. wife left you, you knew you might have find another girl that would have sex with you. Ah, true. see? Oh, true. <laughs> now you're not You knew you weren't going to find any other TV show. <laughs> no, it's <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> you know, every time, it's just it's horrible. I was, saying, I was trying to trash voice. He goes, it's true. It's true. It's true. true. Yeah. Then it got just real, and he got sad. It's true. Man. Yeah. What are you kidding me? In September, my whole career turns around. Really? Does it? Uh, yeah, there's good things uh, happening, baby. Like, oh. The, the, the special we did. He's being critical. Yeah. Thing, the well, special. I'm being told what? there are five minutes left in the program. And we probably five minutes use. left in your job. Oh, my God. Don't say that. I get very paranoid when I have to go in to see the boss. I do have these bad feelings that I get when I well, have to go in and no, talk I'll to the boss. No, I'll tell you exactly how they're going to do it. What? They're going to be like... Anthony, we treat you pretty good here. I mean, as far as you like, yeah, yeah. I go, yeah, yeah. I mean, you know, we uh -huh. ask, you know, you guys have little demands. All we ask is one thing: you show up for the show on time. Oh. I mean, Ew. yeah, like you know, <laughs> fuck you, Colin. <laughs> it's on. This is uh, it's gonna be some of this. You know, this is just it's not acceptable. Um, yeah. But yeah, you know, fired. Probably, you know. Yeah. They'll yeah. probably they'll probably go. You know, Howard's always on time. They'll throw yeah. that at your face. But I guess he has to be on time. All the listeners he has. Uh, so, you know what I'm saying? They're probably going to throw that in your face. But the worst comes, you don't there. skate out of a oh, slam. I'm leading yeah. into something. You always have... By the way, I don't have a limo that fucking picks me up every morning either. Exactly. I have to get my own ass awake and my yes. own ass in my fucking right, okay. vehicle and drive from Long Island uh, 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 here. Sometimes, uh, you know, 
I, I don't What's make that? it on time. Well, maybe you would have a limo if you didn't do hacky fucking yeah. ball-eating fucking contest. What I'm saying to you is you always have the gun in karaoke to fall back on. <laughs> if worse comes to worse, you go in your basement. What? You do, you oh, do your little God. shows, My okay? Little shows? Your little Wild shows in your basement. Wild is trashing you. He's yeah. got three ketchups in his hand for yeah. no reason. Yeah, I know. They are because like they're going into my pocket. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. There is a reason, uh, okay? You, I don't want to throw tomatoes. in your tissues in your watch band, I don't want to throw tomatoes at you at your show. I want to throw ketchup packages. <laughs> How much weight you put on? Uh, not, whoa! I'm not wow. No, maybe five pounds. You did a little bit, little bit. Are you out of your fucking mind? A little bit right in the gut section. A little bit. I'm sorry, I'm 53 this month, and I quit I smoking four years ago, him. and I gained maybe three pounds, three fucking day. pounds, okay? You've never, okay? <laughs> you can never go to Norton till you gain weight again, okay? What? But we, say, we say to Bob yes, Kelly all the time, if he gains weight, we go, wait, Bobby, yeah, you Yeah, because Bob something. Kelly, you oh. can tell he gained weight because you're putting advertisements on him. You don't think, I there's, fucking a, you don't think there's more of a paunch him. than there was, like, right, well, yeah, then when I was a, a fucking kid. No, no, like a month ago. No, no, there isn't. When you were showing, when Dude, we were you doing put on fucking 10 pounds. When we were doing the show your abs thing. Okay, right? hold on. And you were is showing there, your abs. Is this, is this, There's a little more of a paunch. He thinks that I gained weight right here. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, shit. Rich just opened his asshole. Oh, fuck. And the same quality of thought came out of it <laughs> that we've been hearing all morning. <laughs> that was the most intelligent thing I saw come out of you. Yeah. Okay. That's oh. why you better get, you better practice that position in your fucking meeting. Oh, okay. Oh, bent over with my asshole up. Okay. I think you're right. <laughs> Face down, AC jump. All right, look at the belts all the way down here. Uh, whatever. Oh, oh God! All right, we, look, look it up. He's pulling on it too. Exactly. If he's tugging else. on that belt. I you can let it out a notch. Good. That's what people do when they're trying to hide. They got fat. They wear the belt down there. Yeah, exactly. The belt goes down what lower. Do you the... I'm saying, By your knees, stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I wish it was around your neck. <laughs> <laughs> Where it belongs. <laughs> yeah. You've already used two wishes today. You're gonna run out. One should okay. be. One should be. I hope I don't get fired. <laughs> That should be one of your wishes, okay? You fucking idiot. You're wasting them on me. <laughs> He's vicious today. Vicious, boss. Yeah. God damn. I think we have to close up, I think, right? Yeah, we got to close up. Why don't we get the plugs in, say where uh, you wonderful gentlemen will be in the very near future. I'll do Kyle's. Uh, Colin, uh, long story short, it's Bleecker Street Theater. Uh, I was wrong. B l e e c k e r. In the movie Grown Ups tonight. Yes, Colin yes. will be in the, yeah. the movie Grown Ups tonight. For tickets for uh, Colin's one man show, two one two two three nine sixty two hundred. It's right there in the village, and uh, Grown Ups tonight. And Colin's on Twitter. I am Colin Quinn. I am Colin Quinn. Someone else has Colin Quinn. Just, yeah. just Colin yeah. Quinn. And I'm, who is that? All I do is Twitter about Chip anyway. Yeah, he's obsessed. <laughs> no, no, no. Yes. I love, I'm going to start Colin getting Steve. residuals from this guy. Hold and on. You know, because oh. he's Twittered about me like it's going out of style. <laughs> and uh, uh, Rich Voss, where are you going to be? I'm at the Treehouse Comedy Club uh, Saturday in uh, Stanford and in uh, fucking some other place. So, yeah. Uh, and Arizona. No, that's in fucking July. July 28th and 29th. July's almost here, Rich. July 28th and 29th. Anthony, where do you want to get your plugs? In the front of your head or in the back? Oh, damn. <laughs> they were follicles that were impl fuck. planted right. in the direction your hair naturally grows, yeah, not okay. plugs. Okay, and I'll be July, Danny. July 2nd right. and 3rd at uh, the uh, Borgata Casino. Yeah, I'm going to that one. Anthony will be at. Absolutely. Uh, gentlemen, thank you. What a great flashback That's right. show. And try to watch Damages on... Uh, damages. And yeah. Uh, thank you, everybody. And right. um, oh, I, I, I do hope I, I see you Monday here on right. the Opie and Anthony could program. Be it. On time. All right, look. i tell you right now. <laughs> He's outside the studio on mic, yes. Yeah. Don't feel good. I got tummy upset. And so, if what he I'm blows saying a fart, is it's over, Johnny. Is I love you and be well.